episode. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to the first official because it's on the, the the Twitch. We're talking about lore because it's what this is. It's a lore stream. Um, well, here's the thing. We're talking about the Knights of Ren. I don't really care about the Knights of Ren. I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> Gasp. I didn't care about the Knights of Ren. End podcast. Oh my gosh. Well, that's the I'm thing. Just like, everyone was like, oh, we didn't hear about the Knights of Ren from uh, Star Wars Episode Eight. It's like, well, I didn't care. I didn't care about Snoke either. So, well, yeah. I really didn't care. <laughs> so, well, whenever, now no one. They never really gave. Cares. They never really gave us the reason to care about either of those. I know, yeah, dude. You know, it was just, it was just a, it was whole just thing a flash. Was, Oh, it, it was the the classic JJ mystery box. It's like, here, I'm just going to present you with part of a thing. And then, of course, the last Jedi came through. I was like, yeah, well, forget all that. You know, throw that box in the trash. But what we do Trade. need is big, big uh, sea cows. Big oh, sea yeah, cows. That's what we got. Put that in. Put that, green in. Milk. that in there. Green, green milk. milk. Oh, yeah, it is visionary. Ryan Johnson. My guy. Man. Well, Kubrick. <laughs> uh, you know. Hitchcock, what if I told you? I don't Ryan actually, Johnson. Whew, what if I told you I don't mind a Star Wars Episode Eight? Well, you then I would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, define don't mind. Define don't mind. Well, you see, it's a Star Wars movie and it's a, a fantasy oh. movie. So, I mean, oh. people get up in arms about a fantasy movie, a movie about Star Wars, and I sit there and go, oh. well, this is a fake world. You can add or subtract whatever you want. And, I mean, is it really going to change? No, because it's there forever. So, you can either get mad at it all the time or just say, hey, it's a Star Wars movie. I'm not going to get up in arms about Star No, but... But I, is it I, a Star Wars movie, though? But is, is it really... <laughs> It's more oh. like a, it's more like a fan, like a, you know what I mean? Like a, oh, what do you call fan it? Fic. Like a fan fiction. Fan fiction. Movie. Yeah, man. Isekai. Yeah, Ryan Johnson's just Wait, no, Star Wars. I mean, man, as soon as I knew that we were going to be talking about stars, I knew immediately. It's like, oh, well, this is going to be all on The Last Jedi. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> well, we, can, we can talk about uh, Star Wars 1313, the canceled Lucas Arts game. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, right. Or the so, Darth Maul game. Darth Maul. Or we can talk about the yeah. the or Darth Maul's Star not Wars dead. Christmas special. Yeah. Why don't you yeah. talk about Solo? That's some lore to okay. a character. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I like but nobody asked for nobody asked for that lore. You know who yeah. uh, nobody asked for it. But it was better than The Last Jedi. Yeah. Mm, yeah. What? <laughs> more than what? I enjoyed it more than The Last Jedi. Lando's Calrissian. Okay, I will I will say same thing for me. However, I also came out of the, out of the experience feeling I'm pretty disappointed overall. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. Well, it didn't and, edit. Well, the my thing reasoning. Is... Yeah, yeah go ahead. my reasoning for that whole thing is feeling kind of eh about it. Is I came out of it feeling like okay, so there have been, you know, this is of course just a personal thing, but there have been four. Star Wars movies since you know they re- that Disney decided just to reinvigorate the trans the, the the franchise and I've only thoroughly enjoyed like thought wow that was really really good I've only thought that of one of them yeah you what know? that and that would be Rogue One and yeah I oh, have its yeah. problems and other people Dude, are like oh right. you know it's whatever and I, I get it like it definitely has problems but I came out of that feeling like wow that felt like it belonged in the universe to me and it felt like yeah. hey yeah they're actually making something you know worth watching and then out of solo i was like it was so paint by numbers and it was so just blah that i was like this is not going to get me back on board of this franchise like the damage to that the last Jedi i did mm-hmm. uh for me a mediocre thing is not going to fix that yeah mm-hmm. yeah I, I, here's my here, here's what i'll say about Here's what I'll say about the Last Jedi, like, and I guess this is my, you know, my question to the group is, since we're talking about lore, what what aspect, what aspect of the lore that, what aspect of the president that is Star Wars, you know, I, I guess you could say was disrespected well, by Episode Eight, by Episode Eight, okay. or by hmm. Solo, because Solo didn't. I, add I, I guess both. We could talk both. Yeah, I well, guess. Solo... yeah, we could talk both. Usually, whenever you do like a prequel or like a an in between, like a something, it adds something to the lore. It was literally it didn't add anything. It didn't. No. Yeah. No. 
it, I agree. I guess it kind of told us how he got his last name, how he got the Millennium oh, Falcon. God. But like, we didn't need to know any of that. Yeah, we didn't need to. No, because well, it was explained well enough the, in the, the you know the. And the he is original. A rather like he is a rather mysterious character for mm-hmm. like the first two films. Yeah. You know, he is pink yeah. mystery. It kind of breaks down that yeah. mysterious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, don't know. I I enjoyed Solo, um, mm-hmm. only because I a dumpster fire and it wasn't. I really liked. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I really liked the guy i forgot his name I, i'm terrible but you know the guy who played lando the yeah the, oh the um, donald glover yeah donald glover yeah. Child, I, I i thought he was a good um who was i don't know it was it was it was entertaining but yeah i i i, I do agree that a mediocre thing isn't gonna like really like uh yeah i mean I, yeah I, yeah I, everyone loves star wars and i'm still gonna love how, what kind of flaws they may have have put in with the last two movies but mm-hmm. yeah that's yeah. how i feel yeah episode seven wasn't terrible Rogue but, one was pretty darn good yeah um i'll say i'll say this about solo though yeah um because i know andy and i watched them together and, and we all yeah, came we to the conclusion of like that you know the noah's right like the whole point of han solo's character is that he is mysterious and mm-hmm. by mm-hmm. Yeah. you know you create a movie about him and like there's not a lot of mystery left after this movie. Not to mention That's that true, yeah. the char- the character at the end of Solo, it's nowhere near what the character at the beginning of A New Hope is supposed to be like. Yeah, Cause right. Because because yeah. A New Hope, yeah, A New Hope, he's just like this jaded, you know, outlaw. Like I'm a smuggler, and I'm you know, yeah. I'm this hardcore I'm, dude. I'm in this for myself. Yeah. Yeah. And he mm-hmm. finds a reason to, to fight for other people. And that was like his whole redemptive arc in the entire in the, the OT. But in the in the solo, they literally have the line and Amelia Clark says a line like, Well you you might be the bad guy, but you're always the hero or something uh, like that. And it's just like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Really? He never Yeah, he never really was a bad guy in the movies either. All he was trying no. to do is just find his yeah, girl. It's all for himself. You know? Well, yeah, oh yeah, fair. well, you, in the original, it was all about himself. In this one, he had yeah. a girl to go get, which yeah. made it, which made yeah. no sense either because he didn't care about a girl until Leia came around. Yeah, he wasn't tied down. I, yeah, 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 yeah. That's fair. I didn't think about it this like critically because the person I watched it with was not a Star Wars fan. So, yeah, not I to mention that, that like the way, the way they explained his last name to me was kind of stupid. Yeah. Oh, it was trash. Oh yeah. my god. So bad. My name's Han. Okay, so, Han what? It's all right, so this solo. opens up. Yeah, no. So this <laughs> opens up an entire. This opens up a problem, a huge problem this in opens Star Wars Galaxy. An entire. Okay, let's say that. This opens up a so problem. So the whole situation was. Problem. Oh, you're signing up for the Empire, and they're like, okay, what people group are you from? What's your last name? Basically, was in Star Wars form is what he was asking. And he's like, oh, I don't have any. Oh, well, then you're. Solo. Let yeah. me write that down. You know, he basically gave him that name. <laughs> well, if if, ha, if that's how he got his name, and if that's like a standard, per, if, if that's how the Imperials take anybody who doesn't have names, there should be thousands of solos <laughs> running around. Yeah, that's thousands. Like every yeah. stormtrooper should be like, you know, it's it's it's, it's retarded. It's so ah, uh, it's so stupid. It doesn't make any sense no, that they that... would have to explain what his name is. Yeah, that could have just been his yeah, last name. Huge... I would believe it. I would have believed it. That's just his last yeah, name. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. a huge <laughs> point. I did not even think. Can, can we? Yeah. Can, can we now talk about Darth Plagueis the, the, the Wise? Darth Plagueis the Wise. Darth oh, well, Plagueis the Wise. That's so... We can't. Well, we say we can't talk story... about. Uh, oh, Darth Maul. In okay, there. I had a very. Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, uh, w- well, like speaking of Darth Plagueis, I had a very like entertaining conversation with somebody like whether Darth Plagueis is Anakin's father or whether Palpatine is Anakin. And yeah, and what do you guys think? Because you know about the whole Darth Plagueis thing and that people assume that yeah, that because Darth Plagueis was able to like use the force to create life that. Well, he I mean, may have... yeah. That question was may. actually like officially answered in a the Darth Vader comic that came out. Oh yeah. Oh really? And it was that Sidious was the one who did it. Was the one who manipulated the force and set up the whole thing. Oh, uh, so, he, know, but that's, so that that would make I'm confused. So mm-hmm. so Darth Sidious is actually Darth Plagueis? 
no, Darth Sidious is Palpatine. No, they're not the same person. <laughs> Sidious is, is Palpatine. <laughs> but the whole thing was that, uh, like the the thing was like, well, who, how did? Because the mystery of Anakin was, well, he just kind of just came into being, like you know, virgin birth type stuff. Yeah. Like, Jesus. like, what was that? And then, and then in the Darth Vader comic, it was revealed that Sidious, you know, manipulated things and cr- basically created. I don't know how I feel about that. In some oh. ways, I'm like, I don't. He's the one who put I think the it's stupid. Chlorians. In other ways, I'm like, I don't real honestly, I don't really care because it doesn't really change much. It yeah. doesn't really well, affect much at all. So Anakin was like, considered a thin air, kind of. No, like, it wasn't. It wasn't like thin air. There was some sort of like you know, oh, the mystical force and using dark side powers or whatever. I didn't read it, so that doesn't make that just means I probably shouldn't talk about it at all. But I know <laughs> that, that's as far as I know. Come on, it's a podcast. You got to talk about what you don't know. Yeah. It, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess. It. Uh, <laughs> Disclaimer. Who do you think I am, Joe Rogan? <laughs> oh. 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 Alex Jones. <laughs> can we talk? Can we talk about the lore? Can we talk about the lore of Joe Rogan, right quick? <laughs> I don't know anything about this guy. So we already did this. Yeah, Joe. We already did this. Remember, we already did this. Who influenced it, right? the, Who influenced the Force to create Joe Rogan? <laughs> <laughs> Alex Jones, dude, obviously. Um, oh my gosh, we've just discovered a, a conspiracy. <laughs> he put the, He's the one who put Love the it. midichlorians in the water that turned the frogs gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he turned the freaking frogs gay. <laughs> oh, gosh. I know a, be, a piece of lore that I am a big fan of, and that's the Gendy Tartakovsky... Um, Star Wars that came out in 2003, the two part miniseries. Oh, yes. Yeah. I hmm? remember that. Oh, yeah. The guy who made Samurai. Uh, what is that? Oh, oh it, no, I do remember that. The one that takes place between yeah, episode see. two and three, and it helps. It, the Clone it adds, Wars. It adds oh, the Clone to, Wars. Yeah, yeah, Star Wars, the Clone Wars, but before the, the, the like, TV the, show. The animated one, not yeah. the CG animated one. Yeah, the good one. I did the two part. It added the, something. The one no, the, it's the one that was animated by the same people who did Samurai Jack. So yeah. Nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're that talking point, about, right? T- mm-hmm. I remember that. Pointy beard. Obi Wan, Anakin one. Yeah. Now he's got that big pointy yeah. beard. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, and yeah. and Windu's head is like super circular, like a yeah. light bulb. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> he, he made it made Mace Windu a good character. Yeah. Yeah. Did always like Mace Windu. It explains. I'm a guy. I always thought he was cool. It explains I gotta, like how. I got, oh yeah, go ahead. No, I, 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 I was just gonna say. I gotta be honest. I haven't seen it. I just know of it. <laughs> oh wow! Well, no, it, someone put it on YouTube, and it's like two hours and twelve minutes for both. Uh, oh both nice! Yeah. Do, do we have that, Jamie? Can we pull it up? Yeah, can we pull that up, Jamie? I mean, I've got it up right now on my screen. <laughs> oh nice! Oh, Nick, are you on Jamie? Yeah, Jamie? Who's Jamie? Is this for this Joe Rogan person? Yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah. You don't know who Joe This Joe Rogan, Rogan person? I don't know. <laughs> this Joe Rogan person. <laughs> well, let's Trigger. Let me look up Joe Rogan. I swear I've seen like one of his it's, things. It's Sir Rogan to you, sir? <laughs> sir Rogan. Oh, this bald guy. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw him do it on like. <laughs> this bald guy. <laughs> I think I saw his thing on like martial Sensei arts. Sensei Rogan. Sensei Rogan. <laughs> I think I Master saw something Rogan. about martial. Yeah, yeah, martial arts. That's the one. I'd, someone was like, <laughs> someone was like, you need to really watch uh, his thing about martial arts. And I was like, yeah, okay, dude. I like how you go. Oh yeah, that bald guy. Yeah, because I've seen like this one picture, the uh, one guy, and it was like, oh, I think it was this one about jujitsu. Or why he started doing martial arts. Was one, I don't care. <laughs> Listen, as long as... Back to Star Wars real quick. As long as we all can agree that Han did not shoot first. All right, can we all get on that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Han <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> right, yeah, right. But, I mean, yeah. it would make sense Absolutely. if he shot first, though. No, he did shoot first. He did shoot first. He did. <laughs> it makes sense that he shot first. I mean, he, you think he doesn't yeah. want to take the upper hand at any moment? Of course he get the upper hand. <laughs> <laughs> if I had the opportunity to shoot someone first, I would. <laughs> but you do every movie. day. Speaking <laughs> <laughs> of that scene and Greedo in that scene, here's a fun fact about that. It, when they were making The Phantom Menace, there was going to be a scene. They didn't put it in there. 
But, you know, there's that one – in the pod racing scene, there's that little Rodian, the green – you know, the, the smaller kid version of that green alien, the Rodian, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It was supposed to be Greedo, and there was going to be another scene where later uh, that kid – gets into trouble like he's getting in a fight or something i think he's getting in a fight with anakin or something like that and somebody and then like after they break it up and he kind of walks away somebody shouts at him you better be careful or you're gonna get into trouble greedo you know oh, wait really name dropping feet that was bucks. gonna ha- that was going to happen but they decided against that thank that's, god that's good yeah yeah well that's no, they tried to far. connect good everything job, they tried to connect. I hated. Yeah. I hated that scene in episode two whenever uh, they're on Geonosis and they're like, "We have the plans for the ultimate weapon." And it's the Death Star on Geonosis. I'm like, "Don't yeah. hand that off to Dooku, you dingus!" No, no, don't. don't, don't. <laughs> that makes that makes sense though. Yeah, I guess like it, Rogue One does that too though. Hmm? Rogue One, there's that one scene yeah. where they bump. They literally bump into the guys like, "I don't like you, and I'm gonna kill you." And I think yeah. he says the exact same line oh, as yeah. New Hope. Oh yeah, like, he doesn't come like on. you either. I thought you were yeah, gonna make a like joke. He... I thought you were gonna make a joke and be like, "Yeah, I didn't like how in Rogue One they like actually had the plans at the end. Like that's so unrealistic." <laughs> like, what I fans are in Rogue One? One? Oh, gross! No, they keep retconning everything. Started <laughs> thing with the end of the first movie. Come on, oh, get out of here. That's so get out of here. Fan service? No, thank you. <laughs> Dude, I'm just wait. I'm just waiting for uh, J.J. Abrams to just date to feature past Star Wars. Just the whole, everything. Oh, everything. Geez, yeah. Well, okay, so. <laughs> I will say. This is based on. Oh. Yeah. This is based that that what Benny just said, the, the Days of Future Past, the like, time travel idea, is something. Uh, I have to get credit where it's due because it's not my theory. It comes from uh, Red Letter Media. Oh, I know. I don't know if you guys watch them. I don't know. I don't watch you know them. You probably. Uh, you probably, yeah, I mean, I've heard they do them. film reviews on YouTube and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, and mm-hmm. I like them a lot. But they had a video where they predicted, like, okay, what's going to happen in the next Star Wars? What's going to happen in Rise of Skywalker? And one of them, uh, Mike, came up with this idea. And it's like, he was like, this is my crazy idea. This is like the, the out, of, out of reach crazy idea. What haven't they done in Star Wars yet? They haven't done time travel. Mm. So they're thinking, like, his, his concept was based on the fact that Endgame did so well and undid all Thanos' stuff with Spoilers. time <laughs> travel. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. It's a bit late for that. But, yeah. yeah, just a couple months late. You... <laughs> well, if you, if you have, yeah. If you haven't, you know, if you haven't, it's your own you fault know at that, this point. Time travel back to before I say this or skip or time travel like forward. So retcon this, what you're saying? Yeah. Retcon me talking about retconning? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. But anyway. The the concept was well what haven't they done in Star Wars? They haven't done a time travel thing where Ray goes back and fixes all the stuff and or something like that. Mm-hmm. And that's why they're on the you know they have to go to the Death Star and that's why they run into the Emperor or something like that. Ooh. And I'm like that's scary to be honest. That'd be good. I would I would watch that. Oh, no, dude, me, it'd be scary. Half of me, half of me wants to see that happen just so I can watch Star Wars burn. <laughs> oh my the God. other part of me. The other part of me is like, well, that'll be like, that'll be it. You know, they can't really go back from that. Like, they can't go even more ridiculous than that. You know, I mean, look at X Men. introduced. Well, as soon as time travel gets reduced, uh, introduced into everything, everything becomes so much more complicated. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. except Back to the Future. It's true. That is also back true. To... Well, the thing is, Back to the Future handled it. In a way where it was it was linear, like it wasn't it wasn't like a, oh we're in all these alternate universes and you know it was it was yeah a it's just like oh if you concept. don't yeah time tra- dude travel what if they did do time travel time travel I feel like oh, oh dude it would I feel like it would destroy it everyone would be upset that's yeah. like the, oh yeah the one thing mm-hmm. where you royally piss off every Star Wars fan yeah there'll be no winners yeah. in that. What I'm going to say is it's well, a Star yeah. Wars movie and it's a fantasy movie. <laughs> no, goodness. Just use that. that hmm? No, man. It's not just a, not just a Star Wars movie, it's man. It's a way of life. It's you a way of life. It. You just don't get it. I've been watching Star <laughs> Wars before Dude. all of you were born. So is the Christmas special canon? That's what I want to know. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. After, after in 20 years when, when Disney or whoever supplants Disney buys the franchise and does this again 
That's going to be their basis. Yeah. That's it. Just Chewbacca's the Christmas episode. Make the Star also... Wars holiday special with updated graphics and everything, and that's going to be. Oh God. That's going to be where they start. Star Wars <laughs> holiday special remastered. Dude, I wish. Yeah. Honestly, you gave the man porn. <laughs> did they call it? Did they call the Christmas special? Because they can't say Christmas. Holiday no, it's special. A holiday special. Oh, yeah, okay. It's, holiday. it's Christmas. Is there a basis like here? Day. They sing at the end of. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. I I've, oh. I've seen that thing. I've seen that thing twice for all the way really? through. Really? I've seen it zero Why? times. I'm about yeah. to watch it zero more times. <laughs> no, it's still, have... it's definitely worth it. No, this is this is what I'm thinking. You know, Scan. it's definitely worth it for every Star Wars fan to watch it because oh, wow. because so even if happens. you hate the Last Jedi, even if you hate the prequels, even if you hate whatever, insert Star Wars something that something that pe- most people hate, right? Yeah, you cannot get worse than that. That's true. You can yeah, try really true. hard, like Ryan Johnson did, but in the end of it, he still came out with a beautiful looking movie. <laughs> Right? Yeah, that's true. The holiday special has none of that. At least, at least the last Jedi didn't have Chewbacca's. That's true. That's true. Nah, we need more. Yeah, I'll say this. Harry... I'll say this about. I'll say this about the last Jedi. So at the last scene, right? Yeah. I was watching it in theaters, and you know that the. the... <laughs> no, no, no! Like the the last the um. Uh... The scene where they're like the last stand or whatever, and like they're riding those really crappy, back those back. really oh, crappy, yeah. and like and it's the, and it's the sand that's like red. You know what I'm talking about? Step back a bit, my dude. Blowing my ears out. Excuse you. They actually have a line in the movie where he picks up the sand it's and he's salt. like, "What is this? It's salt. Get it right. You're not a real fan." <laughs> it's salt. Anyway, whatever that is. Anyway. And, and then, in the back of my head, I was going, wait a minute. <laughs> Isn't this basically the Battle of Hot reskinned? <laughs> uh, not, e- not even basically, dude. It's, it's very yeah. similar. It's, hey, and, look, it's, it's an homage to Battlefront 2. We're just going to take what was good and make it worse. <laughs> but see, when oh, yeah. I kept my opinions to myself, <laughs> yeah, I was brave enough. No, listen, listen. I didn't. I didn't think that... now. Well, Edgar Wright was there. No, 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 so, no. no like, I, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Like. You know, I didn't know that people caught on, right? So one day I was like, mm, let me see if people caught on. And I say it, and they were like, uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. duh. <laughs> the mean, re- Edgar Wright was in that, Edgar Wright was in those trenches, my dude. So, I mean. Mm. Was he really? Yeah, he was a little um, guest cameo. That's... You could see him uh, for about two oh, frames. Oh, my gosh. That's... He showed up on set yeah. and was Everybody like, Everybody has been. So everybody's been in Star Wars now. Like, Basically. everybody. Uh, Lynn Manuel Miranda has been in Star Wars. That's what they're yeah. going to do with The Last Jedi, or The, the, the Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. The one they're going gonna, to gonna make it a music. <gasps> no, new theory. They're gonna, oh, yes. They're going to multi, they're going to dimension hop, and the Avengers are going to come in. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, no, that's stupid, bro. Everybody oh, knows that no. Rick and Morty are going to come into this. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my God. gosh, no. yes. Oh, yes, but, oh, season four, 2019. <laughs> No, yeah, what's gonna pumped. happen at what's gonna no, happen at yeah, the end they're... of what's yeah. gonna happen at the end of the Rise of Skywalker is the like they're all celebrating, defeating whatever the bad guys are called. I forget the, not um, not the, the first order. The Empire. First order. First order. The, the first order, and then they're, they're, gonna gonna start, the... they're gonna start to turn into dust. They're gonna start they're gonna start fading away. They're gonna be Thanos snapped. Oh start, my god. Yeah, they're gonna <laughs> Ray snapped out of existence, <laughs> just like my okay, character or her character. Gonna, this is what's gonna. This is what's gonna happen, actually. Yeah. They're gonna zo- They're gonna pan out. Like <laughs> the war's over. Everyone's like, "Yeah, great." They're gonna pan out, and they're gonna see a bunch of people get up from a table. Like, man, that was a great game. And they step outside. <laughs> and there's like the there's like the uh, the Statue of Liberty or whatever, and it's like they're gonna oh, Lego movie it. Way, Lego. All Star Wars. All Star Wars was just an RPG by some kids. Oh my! They're gonna God. Lego movie it. They're gonna Lego movie it. <laughs> yeah, or it's like it's like a, it's like a Game of Thrones season eight. It's like they gotta hurry up and they gotta be like, all right, the DM's moving away. We gotta hurry up and finish this campaign real quick. <laughs> yep. <sighs> That'd be beautiful. Honestly, I'd rather I'd rather like that than whatever they're gonna do. 
Maybe they maybe yeah. they'll but the, maybe they'll do like Halo where it gets worse and worse oh. and then they they keep giving us <laughs> they keep giving us good trailers for you know the newest game. Maybe the new movie will be a... yeah. These are fantastic trailers. I know. I will dude. say that the trailer for um, the Rise of Skywalker looks pretty. Yeah, the two seconds we've seen of it. I, I would be lying. I would be lying if I said I wouldn't. I'm not a little hyped. Yeah. I, I do. I do like that he's bringing in the prequel. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. We were all wait. What trailer? Pre- yeah. Not the prequels, the, the sequel, the, the OT. Well, yeah. Well, no. What it, trailer? He's bringing the, he's the bringing two second in the OT uh, in yeah. Star Wars. Palpatine does his little. Well, I mean, like in, almost like, everyone else is dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except yeah. Palpatine. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> he's the only one they could bring back, maybe. Everybody Palpatine. knows the best trailer that dropped oh, well, this year was Sonic. Bring... <laughs> Sonic. Oh, Sonic comes speeding Sonic along. Is the best yeah. Trailer. You see, you there, see Ray running along you know, the field. Sonic the, saves the day. Yeah, Ray's running across <laughs> the field, uh, the little sand area, and then Sonic zooms by, and she's like, "What? What just happened?" And then there's Sonic, and he's like, "You're not fast enough." You're too slow. You're too. You're not fast enough. Well, you know the joke. The joke was that they're gonna try to make a Super Smash Brothers movie because of the Pikachu movie and the Sonic movie. All right. Oh. Well. I mean, okay. As long as Pac Man is the one, like the main character. What I are think. they? I'm down. Captain Falcon. <laughs> Captain Falcon better be. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I'm down in whatever capacity that comes out in. Well, I mean, it might have to be like a uh, Super Smash Bros, where they're like, it's they're all toys, and then because that's that's how it start, Smash Bros started off. Yeah, that's that. the actual premise. That's yeah, the actual yeah. premise. They're toys, and then they get scanned too. into the game. Yeah, they are yep. making a. Uh, uh, Super Mario Brothers movie, Universal, like their Asian department, oh. Illumination. No. Hey, yeah, Mario. Making... Yeah, Mario. Wait, seriously? Go, we gotta go. I'm, yeah, I'm dead serious. Mm. The same, I mean, it's kind of sucks because it's the same company that made all Despicable Me movies, but like. Ooh, Illumina- yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, no, Illumination. Illum- Illumination has done some good things, all right? Let's, uh, let's... They did one good part. thing. No. They've they yeah. done the Grinch. Uh, <clears throat> oh. Yeah, Secret Life of Pets was good. No, it was uh, Secret it Life sucked. of Pets was just Toy Story with animals. Yeah, it was way worse, hey, my dude. Leave it alone. Hey, we out here in this uh, New York town with two dogs. We're on a cross. Gotta get us a dog. <sighs> I hated that. I hated. It. And then they had Kevin Hart or whatever as the, the the bunny. What if it? No, checks out. What if Illumination did Star Wars? Oh, I. Mm, oh God. KMS, I'd... my dude. I'm checking it'll out. It'll be. It'll be 25. For... Just be all Fortnite jokes and. Uh, oh my gosh! Yes, Ray would be flossing on top of, of a Tie Fighter. Yeah, basically. Dude. Yeah, ready for this Fortnite movie though? I'm gonna. Mm. They're, they're making a making Fortnite, a fork knife movie. No, they're not. But imagine if they did. Um, I would. Well, they made an Angry Birds movie. Yeah, that's true. Like and they one. made a. They made an Angry Birds movie like seven years after the game was popular. So yeah. I... Okay. They made <laughs> Do also, I have to? Re- they also. They also made a Slenderman movie. Like, I was about to say that. Yeah, Slender. Yeah. What about keep, the greatest movie ever, the Emoji movie? Dude, Hell yeah, oh brother. my gosh. Mm. <sighs> the name, you know. This is great Star Wars lore, guys. Okay, well, we can I bring it back. Just, let's, let's bring it back. Let's bring it Good back. Good thing we definitely didn't derail it. Yeah, yeah, we can bring it back. Um, Do you... Oh, okay, maybe only Andy might know about this. Maybe Benny, but uh, do you think that Star Wars The Force Unleashed is canon? No, it's, it's not, not but it needs to be. Well, see, I thought they were going to do that. I with don't the... even know if it needs to be, dude. I That's honestly true. don't dude. think. I I thought... Thought... Well, I thought they were the game gonna is introduce... amazing. It needs... Yeah, I thought they were going to introduce new powers. Like, whenever the yeah. Force Awakens, I thought it was going to be like, it's been dead for a while. And then, like, all of a sudden, Ray can crash two planets together. Like, she'd be okay. No, they decanonized, they decanonized those they games. Did. Yeah, uh, they decanonized well, everything they... with the resurgence or when, when Disney bought it. They scrapped everything yep. except yeah. for. Um, the, the uh, Clone Wars series, the, the Clone Wars series, and... the uh, the the Rebel series, and then yeah. the, well, the, Re- the six mo- the Rebel eight. series is Disney. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. that they de- they canonized that uh, Darth Maul was still kicking in that show. Oh yeah, fan armor. Can anybody say fan armor? Mm-hmm. Yeah, seriously. Oh, major fan armor. Mm. I just. I don't know. I, I honestly like. Do you guys? 
Do you guys think that was a good move on Disney side? Like, should they should they brought him back? Should they kept him dead? Or what do you guys think about that? Well, well, they, well they, him... they assume that they assume that they're gonna like they they pulled that stunt in the end of Solo, assuming yeah, that, that they gotta do make... something with him. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I okay. Oh. See, the thing is, I'm always optimistic. Yeah, he, well, he was the best okay. villain the... for you know the prequels. Well, he was the best looking villain. Yeah, he really yeah. wasn't a character at all. Yeah, he was just yeah. kind of there. They brought him back because oh, he, character or... they, they brought him back because they looked cool. Because he looked yeah. cool, and then he absolutely, most definitely died. Yeah, but everyone for was sure. like, "Oh, well, we're gonna retcon that because uh, his race doesn't actually, you know, like they can regenerate their die. testicles like, whenever they and get cut also, off." Oh my and God. also, he survived on his rage and dark side powers alone, you know, because, yeah. you know, the Force can do whatever, man. So, like, well, and now he has robot legs, and he's threatening people that he's working with, Yeah. and his lightsaber is really, really red when everything else in that hologram ever has been blue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that, that mm, retcon, retcon on the holograms. And I'm just... Uh, maybe, maybe, I mean, he that guy was like a drug lord, right? Maybe he had like a 4K projector yeah. or something. Like, yeah, he was red. Two colors. He got the well, the well, government can't afford like... upgraded, uh, uh, the government can't afford upgraded, uh, hollow brain. Yeah. Well, he was never a character up until the deep lore came out, you know, in, um, in the, the books and stuff. Cause it was like back in those yep. days. Because you were like, oh, Darth Maul's just a guy. He has two lightsabers, and he was just, he just found those red crystals. But back in the day, you had to kill a Jedi, take their crystal, and then corrupt it with the dark side of the Force. So back in those days, yeah. he took he killed two Jedi, and took mm-hmm. his, their lightsabers and corrupted them and made his double staff thing. That's 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 when he was a character was in the books, and then they retconned it and was like, <laughs> he's just well, alive. Didn't they? Didn't they also have it to where? Uh, Obi Wan Kenobi officially kills him. Uh, and, yeah, uh, in the in Rebels, Rebels yeah, because he was in Rebels. To, yeah, he was one degree higher. It was a slope, and he had the high ground. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> it's over. Oh, I have it's the over. high ground. Oh my gosh! They need to make a, a an Obi Wan movie just called High Ground. They Star, are High Ground, a Star Wars they, story. They no, it's in production Obi-Wan right movie. now. Wait, is that real? You know. No, no, it's not. I don't think that's I real. I think people it. want it to be real, but I don't. No, I heard it. I heard they, it they never production. Heard. Well, I'm looking at an Obi Wan movie right now, and I. Oh, I don't Jamie, know. pull it up. I. <laughs> yeah, Jamie. I'm, I need to watch this Joe Rogan guy. Hey, yo, Paulie D. <laughs> Cram it up, my dude. Wait, what? Kenobi, a Star Wars story, first look concept trailer, 2019. No, I don't think that's legit. Kay. I think people would be. Freaking the hell well, out! Of it. Oh, January solo. No, it didn't, no, that's not true because yeah, that came out January second, twenty eighteen. There's no way it's still in. Well, okay. No, yeah, I know because from... after solo, after solo, quote unquote, bombed, which you know, Star Wars numbers definitely did. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they, they decided to push everything back. You know, except for you know the movie that they were already making, which was this uh, episode nine. It so, might be on Disney Plus though. The movie I would. The movie I would like to see, like if, if they're gonna make a Konobi movie, because they will, you know they will. Eventually, in, yeah. In his solitary on Tatooine, yeah. what you'd make is if you have to continue it from solo, like if you have to continue with Darth Maul's uh, crime syndicate or whatever, mm-hmm. what you do is you make it an Obi Wan detective story, you know? Detective like, Obi Wan. Like oh my gosh, yes, please. Yeah, you, make it, you make it like a you make it like a uh, a noir type thing, right? Bro, I would <laughs> okay, maybe, honestly you laugh, but he's, I would he's, he's, I would watch that. It sounds, yeah, no. it sounds pretty sick. Detective will be one. No, it's I, like, yeah. you can, I can imagine it. He goes into Moss Eisley, and, you know, he's got the hood. He's trying to stay, you know, t- stay low. Maybe some of the bartenders are like, oh, yeah, that guy. Don't, you know, he's the, he's the outlander or whatever, and they call him whatever because he Outlander. just doesn't mingle with anybody. Yeah. And maybe he sees something that, uh, like, maybe there's he finds another Jedi or something. Mm-hmm. And it would be even better if, that Jedi was played by Jude Law and ended up being Ooh. like the villain of the movie. Oh, dude! You and McGregor versus Jude Law would be <gasps> awesome. Oh my gosh! Because wait, oh, but, but, yeah. you forget Jude Law was already a villain in Captain Marvel. Yeah, but that's not oh, Star God. Wars. But there's no crossover. Hopefully, I hope there's no I'm crossover. Joking, I would. Okay, wait, so who did Jude Law play in Star Wars? He was no, and not in Star Wars. He was in uh, Captain Marvel. So why did you bring Jude yeah, Law into this? this? 
Because if you no, he's because there's no in. crossover. You could definitely have him in uh, oh. both yeah, Star Wars and you could absolutely yeah. have him make a Star Wars thing. Yeah, I would be. I'd it'd be, be I think it'd be really cool to see them to see Jude Law versus Ewan McGregor as a, yeah. as like a you know. So Why Jude be, Law though? Out of all people. Well, because in the because prequels cool and the new movies, only the British people get good parts. So I mean, they're the exactly. only ones who get the good lines. <laughs> And I just I, I don't know I, I I like Jude Law I think he has a lot of he has a lot of that charisma he's got a lot and to so offer. does Ewan McGregor so having them play off each other yeah. I think would be really cool yeah for sure although but the story is like I, you know yeah. he's trying not to get involved and something happens where he's like oh I have to get involved and then he starts because one of the best things I mm. think of Star Wars Episode Two or at least something that I really liked yeah was the parts where we were with Obi Wan he's trying to track down. The bounty hunter. He's trying yeah. to track down. Yeah, okay, well, where's weird. this planet? It's been erased from the archives. It's been, you know, where's the start come from? You know, that kind of stuff. That was really. And then he cool. goes. To, he goes to that the Camino planet with the um, Camino. Yeah. He goes to Camino, and then he's like, "They're like, oh, you're so and so," and he's. Like, yes. No, I'm not. I am. Yeah. Continue. Obviously. Yes, I am who you said. Yeah. Yes. Very. Do you guys good. know what Camino means I, in Spanish? Um. It means walk, doesn't it? It means way. Way. Way, yeah. Well, in Japanese, way. it means no. I'm just kidding. It means nothing. Oh, okay. I hope. I hope. Let's look it up. Let's, let's Google oh, Translate it, this. Is it doesn't? Oh. Well, it's, I, it's I'm about to be minor. Like, they wear. It's like that. It's like that robe they wear, right? The Camino, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to be um minoring in Japanese, so eventually I'll be able to school all you losers. Freaking weeaboo. <laughs> Well, um, I'll be able to I'll be able to watch anime without the dubs or the sub. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a Just real wait anime. till Mexican anime takes over, then you're really screwed. Well, nah. okay. I got a I got a I got a Mexican girlfriend. I got. I... <laughs> <laughs> she can be my translator. Call me no. Translate for me, daddy. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Kamino. Translates in Chancla. Chancla? <laughs> the shoe. Oh. Wait, no, yeah. that means you can officially watch Coco, bro, and not feel racist. Oh my what? god. <laughs> oh my gosh. We can save that for another day. Uh, except everybody, except everybody in Coco speaks English. Yeah, and, that's true. No, that says a few. Says a few phrases in Spanish, which indicates sings two that times. They in Spanish. know that they're speaking in English, and they're still speaking it anyway. Dude, what if in the sequel to Coco they ran into Anakin? Well, okay, and there the, can't. The, uh, <laughs> all right, spoilers for Coco. There can't be a Coco two says, because Mama wait. Coco, ninety-eight years old, she had two more days. It's true. That's two mean. What? Days. Did you watch Coco, my dude? Dude, I've yeah. seen like five times. Yeah, oh, Mama my, Coco. It's my black. It's the, it's my people's Black Panther. Oh, <laughs> stop! Oh my, oh my, you had you actually had... no, 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 no. I take that back. My people's Black Panther is the Dora the Explorer movie that's oh coming out. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Well, oh. See, Coco was named after does... Mama Coco. Mama yeah, Coco is the Michael. grandma who's ninety-eight yeah. years old, and she she's the one I to remember. Um, what's his Hector? Hector. It's Hector. You should yeah. know, yeah. bro. Okay, you just the... just just to link this to Star Wars, can we just say that Hector's a Jedi? Just to cover our bases. <laughs> and De La Cruz is a fifth. Oh and De La Cruz God. is clearly a fifth. De La Cruz. Okay, well, no, so. Like, yeah, we, we can. We can because. Yeah, like, there, hey, bring it, we're Jedi bringing it back. Jedi uses the Force, so anyone can be a Jedi. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Everyone can be a Jedi. <laughs> You're a Jedi. You know, You're a, a Jedi. You are a Jedi. It's a fictional. It's a fantasy movie. So Dude, technically, yes. It's anything. fantasy and fantasy. Oh, my gosh. My God. No, it can't. They're rules, man. Remember when Han said the Force doesn't work that way? Oh, my you remember God. That? <laughs> you remember that? No. Good thing, good thing Han definitely knows how the Force works. Good thing I he's know, the Force. Good thing, good thing Ryan Johnson definitely knows how the Force works. Oh, my gosh. That kid grabbing the broom at the end. I was like, that's, that's a waste of your powers, youngling. To move it two feet. Good thing that... Good thing that Master Yoda can call down lightning. He can lightning bend. Oh my <laughs> gosh. As a ghost. As a ghost. Oh my yeah. gosh. As a ghost. So stupid. What do, you, what do you think about that? 
What do you think about the whole? I, I feel like they they've well, taken the whole Force Ghost way out of proportion. Well, like the whole the idea. Is, of, well, the thing is, they're well, part with, of with the that. Force. They're part of the Force when they die. So I mean, obviously, if you can die and be in the Force, you can obviously use the Force when you're dead because you're you are the Force at that point. So, if so you why don't are, we just have a bunch of Ghost Jedi running around? Like, why is that not a thing? Apparently, yeah. well, like maybe they I feel like only the powerful force, enough maybe. Jedi's. I guess only powerful. Yeah, no, for I real. Think, um, I never thought about that. I they, guess I've never thought about that. Like, yeah, where the heck is Mace Windu, my dude? There'd be a ghost. There'd be a dead Jedi thing somewhere. You know? Yeah, there's a bunch of younglings walking around looking for Mace oh. Anakin. <laughs> no. Oof. No. Oof. <laughs> they find no. his helmet and they're like, "Yeah, that bastard got it." Yeah. <sighs> no, but what? No, if this is real though, like if mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. if. Well, if Force Ghosts can, like, you know, call lightning storms and, you know, manifest themselves tangibly, why don't a bunch of them, you know, link up and take, you know... <laughs> yeah, why don't they, why don't they collapse? Yeah, why don't they collab and drop a new album? Cause... Yeah, they, why don't they link and build, dude? Link and build, fam. Link and build. Yeah, dude, let's lab, dog. Dude, for sure. Um, I don't know why. How do you like, Maybe, how, how do you like how uh, Darth Vader spends... All of his life being uh, moody evil and the worst person ever, and at the last five minutes of life, he's like, you know what? You're right. Fuck and it. then he's a ghost, and you know he's like, he can get <laughs> yeah, that's a great. That is a good point. I'm gonna yeah, how did up... he become? And all, the, all like these... all of a sudden a good. <gasps> Ooh, force ghost lore. That's redeemed. what I'm looking up right now. Force like, ghost lore. Talk... Oh, apparently want, Star Wars yeah, Rebel, talk... Rebels explains it. Apparently. Wait, really? Oh, really? Like, like I can't. Because he was no. never really evil. He just happened to go murder a bunch of people uh, while he was a Padawan on Tatooine. He oh my gosh! Okay, so I'm on. Village. I'm on the Star yeah, Wars not fandom just the men, wiki. But so the apparently, the, the alignment children. of Force Ghosts is <laughs> light side of the Force. So unless you have to be a good yeah. person in order. No, it's true. Yeah, that's that's a that's a canon thing. But I know that like basically, uh, the I know what the Sith have some sort of like. Some sort of carryover. It's more of a res residual type thing. Mm -hmm. There's not like full on apparitions of like Yoda who can do things and talk to people and have, give us call response type, you know, have conversations with people. It's just like a, I'm evil and I'm here to scare you type, those kind of ghosts. I know the Sith, at least in some of the books that I read when I was growing up, when they went to, there was that one episode where uh, Anakin and uh, Obi Wan and a bunch of other people went to Corbin, which is the Sith homeworld. And it's like the the it's like the, the valley of the dark lords or something like that, and they're they're seeing spirits all over the place of Sith, you know. And they never did like anything like, I mean, they're there to torment you, and they still do, but they don't they don't they can't do things like uh, Yoda could or yeah. anything like that. Well, apparently, I'm reading it here. Apparently, some it, it, it death is different for like Jedi. Like they can it's not like they can choose, yeah. but sometimes they could return as a voice or a dream. Or an apparition mm -hmm. at will, so maybe they just choose not to uh, show up, and they can only show up when someone really needs their guidance. Apparently, well, it says so they could show up to yeah for those who need them. Their bodies vanish. This was not the case I, for Qui Gon Jinn. Apparently, I I, I'm I'm thinking they're using like the 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 whole concept is they're showing up as like embodiments of the will of the Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so they can't just so so the Force doesn't want oh the Force doesn't want to do. The Force doesn't like doing things by itself. It likes to be used as a tool for other people to do things. Uh, it doesn't sounds like, like... To do stuff. So it's like, I think th their whole concept is, oh, well, we'll show up and talk to Luke when he needs guidance. Yeah. And, and get him on the right path towards what the, the will of the Force is. But we can't go face stamper ourselves because that's not the will of the Force. I well, better... it, oh, good yeah, thing he yeah. needed guidance. He needed guidance in the Ewok camp when they were celebrating. He really. Oh needed my dude! Yes, that guidance. makes oh, yeah. How to That's burn? So stupid. No, I, I don't like question. that shot though. But it's good. But cannot. I have a question. So, like, are like are the speaking of our lore? Are the origins of like Sith and Jedi ever explained? Like, how did the dichotomy come oh, to be? Yeah. Um, Oh Let's... yeah, you know, you know it was, dude. Jamie, There's... pull it up. Do we have that? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting it right now. <laughs> Polly, so baby, pull it up, baby. Polly, I know. Up screen, baby. I know. I know uh, that I read a few comics just as just as kind of just passing through type things where it's like, oh, this is the the story of the Jedi and the Sith ten thousand years before 
the events of the, of Star Wars of the Star Wars movies, and it was like this is a different version of the Star of Star Wars where they had to instead of using crystals to power their lightsabers, they actually had like power packs on their belts, and they had a cord to it. They could only go so far, and stuff like you know stuff like that. So you know, it's like a there's I mean I don't know if that that's definitely not canon anymore because of Disney, but yeah, well that know. was like one thing that they were doing. So, so Nick, do you pull it up? Well, I've got. Uh, the Sith on this bad boy, because apparently people really do care about it. So, like, uh, let's check yeah. up this. No, we yeah, got <laughs> canon of the Sith, my dude, okay? On the Wikipedia, mm. StarWarsFandom.com. Uh, let's see. I'm glad we're, we're, uh, we're so knowledgeable that we're just using resources that anyone else can use to... Can you point of a podcast? Can you point of a know. podcast? Well, Our I can... level of expertise is the same level of expertise as any other Joe Schmo can have. Well, that's okay. It. Well, I'll pull up the official then because we have actually StarWars.com. Oh. StarWars.com has a oh, data bank no. on the Sith. So <laughs> the the, let me pull that up from the, the, from the, the top that tier. Use it. From the no. top. The um, only primary ones sources, us, my dude. Us, us, us four guys are the only people that can use it. Yeah. No <laughs> one else can use StarWars.com. No. No one Ever. else can use HTTPS colon slash www.starwars.com slash databank slash Sith. Okay, if you use that, I'll find you and I'll dox you and I'll come in there and I'll We will demonetize you. We will, we will Steve Crowder you. We, <laughs> we will charge oh. you for defamation. Oh. We'll take you to court, my dude. We will YouTube you. All right, let's see. We got, okay, here's a, a thing, uh, a little okay. overview. We have the Sith. An ancient uh, order of force wielders, devoted to the dark side of the uh, devoted to the dark side, the Sith practice hate, okay. deception, and greed. Notable for their red bladed lit sabers, black dress, lit sabers, yep, nice, and use nice. of their aggressive feelings. The Sith look to amass power at all costs. The Sounds evil, like an emo dark, buddy of mine. <laughs> <laughs> the evil Darth Sidious, along with his apprentice Darth Vader, achieved the Sith goal of galactic conquest after a millennia of plotting. Wait, ain't that the name of the Battlefront campaign, Galactic Conquest? Yeah. Ooh, we got so, history. are you telling me that Darth Vader and Darth or and Palpatine played the Battlefront games? Is that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> They played Star that's Wars. How they, that's how they won. That's how they got the imp. That's how they. Yeah, that's how they won. Yeah, they played all the side stories the too. Republic Commando canon. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. They did. definitely, obviously. Dang. Okay. Well. Anyway, that's pretty good, actually. The Star Wars databank, uh, StarWars.com slash. Oh, what, what else does it say? Nobody can use it. If you're listening <laughs> to this, you can't use that. <laughs> we Don't have, even think uh, about it. We have appearances, locations, and then there's a Sith probe droid, weapons. Oh. Uh, <laughs> vehicles what sith speeder sith? Hell, and then there's brother. a tool oh, speeder. then we got history yeah because jedi oh. used teslas <laughs> they hacked into the yeah, tesla yeah, they hacked into the mainframe no break their... joe break the there's a lot, there's a lot of history like, my guy honestly on the sith. what what makes a sith speeder a sith Speeder. Like, Let's why is it, it different than a jedi speeder <laughs> it's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a batman it's like a bat Mobile. It's because right, the, let me, let me the pull the it up here. Oh, okay. oh, it's that stupid thing that Darth Maul drove on, that little moon shape thing in episode one. That's a shit speeder? That's yeah. just a speeder. That's just... <laughs> no, but if a Sith drives it, if a Sith drives oh, it, it becomes a Sith right. speed. Oh, that's right. All right, so, so everything so like. Everything I got like... it, so it, it, it gets imbued with dark side energy and then it becomes its own Sith and it's going to get a spin off. Sith <laughs> speeder Star Wars story. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So all those vehicles where it said like it said Sith infiltrator, Sith speeder, and Sith probe droid, they're yeah. all Darth Maul's equipment. So everything in the database related to the Sith, everything is Darth Maul. <laughs> Such a non-essential character they, they, out here with all this special so they equipment. Went, they literally just went to either a manufacturer or like a, I can imagine them going to like the U like Watto's type junk shop, City <laughs> and Maul, and it's like we'll take that one. It's like. Okay, that's gonna cost thirty cents. <laughs> Kills him, and he's like, "We need to take this one. It's all it's dark and looming, and has a big nose, and I like ships like that." <laughs> <laughs> it is no longer a crescent uh, uh, speeder; it is a Sith speeder. Yes, it's like 
Uh, isn't, Can, that just, oh, isn't that just like a normal speeder? Shut up! <laughs> Shut your mouth, <laughs> young one. It's a speeder. <laughs> oh no, my how, gosh. Like, Palpatine re Darth or Anakin. It's like now rise, and he now just rise. Rena- Sith rise. speeder. Sith speeder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the lights turn from blue to red in that moment. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> oh my, it says affiliation a Sith. So apparently no Jedi can use Darth Maul's crescent shape motorcycle, apparently. Mono so basically the Sith, the Sith are just car guys who like to mod their car. Oh my yeah. gosh, yes, they're rice burners. They they're Honda Tanner. Civics. That's what it is. He's just driving around. Like <laughs> they're rice <laughs> up. No, that's not souped up. That's rice up. <laughs> rice up my speeder, bruh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, Dude, all the weapons they got, under, they got, under they weapons. got a show on um, mm-hmm. like in like Star rims, Wars TV. Bro. Look at these rims on this on this probe droid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Some Jedi goes Dude, into just... a Sith probe, but he's like, I want to use you. He's like, nope. My affiliation is the dark okay, side of the so, force. So it says so you said Jedi can't use a Sith speeder. Well it it says affiliation is Sith. Sith speeder? This has affiliation Sith, so I guess no one besides a Sith can use the Sith speeder. Okay. So kind of like it's freaking canon okay. on the Star Wars databank. I guess that's kind of like you know how like if the president, you know the uh, the presidential limousine. Yeah. So like if a dem if a Democratic president rides the presidential limousine, the limousine votes Democrat. <laughs> but if a Republican president rides it, the the, the limousine votes. Republican, you know what I'm saying? No, each one has a different limousine. Gets its own vote. It's, a, it's a different limousine, oh, my dude. Yeah, no, they have to, they have to build one, uh, build one for each party, right? Yeah, specifically for. So if they, so if they, if we get an independent or a, a third party president, it's yeah, it's gonna, gonna, gonna be, be green. Like a moped. <laughs> oh, a moped, a moped, my dude. <laughs> yes. A moped. The president no, it's a moped. Sec- it's like no, six it's, seats it's, on it. It's a moped with a sidecar, and he sits in the sidecar. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an open face helmet and a scarf and the goggles. <laughs> his mustache yeah, is like whizzing, fly, down the, like whizzing down the street at five miles an hour. 20, 20, <laughs> 20 miles an hour, my guy. Mm, gotta dodge those bullets. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's got a bulletproof helmet on. He's got a spine protector, probably. He's good. He's good. <laughs> what? Dude, so, okay, I'll ask, uh, I'll say this also. So, are great Jedi canon, or are they more fan speculated? Let's check it out. Well, Mace Windu's a great Jedi, right? Jamie, pull that up. Yeah. <laughs> what, is what, he though? Explain what a great Jedi is for the for the. Um, a great Jedi. Yeah, go ahead. Explain it. Chaotic good. <laughs> Chaotic neutral. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, oh official no, Lucasfilm response. <laughs> Let's see. I never got an answer. This is from. Uh, yeah, well, now I'm waiting on one. Oh, hold on. Yeah, okay. I don't, okay, I don't okay. quite. I don't quite know what. It, is it just like an old Jedi? Well, guy? no, it's like. I'm just kidding. People people argue that Qui Gon Jinn is a great Jedi, but I don't know. It's someone who's who. They're like chaotic neutral. They're like good. Wow. Well, they're like loyalties don't completely lie with the the Jedi. Order. Yeah, well, uh, they'll break the Jedi order if they have to. Kind of like an independent. Well, Oh, let's look at I'm looking at yeah. it up right now. Let's see. We got Grey Jedi on the Wikipedia. No one else oh, can yeah, use the Star Wars fandom. If you do, we'll dox you. No. <laughs> oh, dude, we the demonetize term, Okay, you. so the term Grey right. Jedi or Grey has two meanings. First, it uh, was used by Jedi and Sith to describe Force users who walk the line between light and dark sides of the Force without surrendering to the dark side. And second, it described Jedi who were distanced themselves from the Jedi High Council and operated outside the structures of the Jedi Code. However, those who were considered to be true uh, Grey Jedi met both qualifications that did not belong to any particular uh, Force tradition. One exception was some... Okay, mm. some people we don't know about. So there can be a, like yeah, fake gray and real Grey Jedi. Hmm. Mm. So, so was Qui-Gon Jinn. Mm. Qui-Gon Jinn apparently was he... technically... I would say Mace Windu is more of a gray Jedi, honestly. That's what I've heard, actually. Because Mace Windu is willing to kill, and the Jedi, they don't, Jedi don't kill, really, unless they have to. But Mace Windu goes straight for it, my dude. Well, yeah, and also... He also knew that, like... like, mm -hmm. The council, like, no, you're not going to train Anakin. He's like, yeah, screw you, I'm going to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. That's the big thing. 
that like defines him as he doesn't completely put his faith in the council. Yeah. Well, wait, Mace yeah. Windu so trained that, that... Anakin? No, no, mm, Qui Gon. That's no. what makes. Oh, Qui Gon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said Mace Windu. That was, that's the argument that he is a great Jedi because he's like, I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah. So. It's like this boy's. I am the one that don't need a. He's like the midichlorians <laughs> are too hided this to prove. Yeah. His, mm. his oh, he's got all these loot boxes. Like he's too legendary. Oh my gosh! He, oh my he, gosh! <laughs> oh my! Huh? <laughs> too baby. Halo two baby. Hey, I also want to point out that they never did. They ever use the whole midichlorian? Did they ever bring that up again in any other movie? Or that was like an isolated incident? No, that was isolated. No, they didn't. And you want to? You want to know why they didn't do that? Why? Hmm. Why? Because the fans hated it. That's why. Well, I mean, That's it kind of. I don't know why. It. And yeah, it's yeah. also why in Jar Jar Binks, after the first episode, you don't hardly see anything of him for the rest of the trilogy. He gets better. That's, he gets that better. That's a good choice. He start, he talked too much yeah. and he talks less, and then all of a sudden in episode three, he's just walking yeah. behind the casket. But no, it's it's that that just shows like you can see that the, the difference between one and two, how much the fans influence lucas and how you know the yeah how, how he out. he listened because... unlike the disney fellows over there hmm. do you well, think yeah i guess do you think that people here's here's what i think people didn't like metaclorin because <gasps> oh. i think it, it it attempted to quantify something that's not meant to be quantifiable yeah mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yeah that's true yeah. yeah i guess so but like the, i don't see why people I, I'm probably going to be here, but I don't really see much wrong with the midi. Yeah, it doesn't bother me too much. Yeah, it's kind of a goofy. No, it doesn't bother me that much. It is kind of goofy, but like well, it gives a tangible explanation thing, for thing, like why some people are are stronger in the force versus yeah, the, yeah. others. Well, you know. the thing that the thing one of the big one of the big arguments against it is the midi chlorians are not like it's not like they're not bad in and of themselves. Like yeah. it's not a bad explanation mm-hmm. in and of itself. But it's yeah. used as a way to quantify how good someone is as as a Jedi, how strong mm. they are. Yeah. Which you know that that's uh, kind of like okay, well that kind of uh, gets away from the whole Force thing that you know that you know you have like, to train the Force chooses you. Know, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, train. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, it means that oh, if I have ten thousand midichlorians and Anakin has twenty thousand, it doesn't matter how much I train, he's, he's gonna always be gonna be a better Jedi. Oh, I was you know, like, speaking. He was one of the Force stuff, and yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, got, I, got I guess see. the great. Oh, you good? I guess the great irony is that, oh, you know, Anakin had many clones at the Wazoo, but he was yeah. still the one that became Darth Vader. That's true. Well, okay. Well, so yeah, I think it's. I don't think it's necessarily Jedi. It's just how how powerful you are as a. How mate, yeah. Know. But then does yeah. everyone yeah. does everyone and their mom have midi chlorians in them? Like does probably Anakin... a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I yeah, mean, I, I think well, so. that's true because if the Just, force is in everything, then obviously, I guess, since midi chlorians are you have some. <laughs> part of the force, I guess, you know, someone. See, is... these kind of questions are why the midi chlorians are a bad idea. Just yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> we just proved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You make some good points. Mm. I, still well, don't, I still don't think it's. It's not. Like, it's it's not also, I don't think it is either. N- it's not, but no. another thing is, so if Anakin was the chosen one, you know, mm-hmm. like, yeah. quote unquote, he's the chosen, that's what they call him. Where did this prophecy even come from? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Was it just that's like, a good, that's a good question. Really old? Like who? It's just some prophecy. Yeah. In, in episode one, like he fulfills the prophecy, the vague, undefined <laughs> the prophecy, prophecy that's never read at, at, at any, in any time, in any, uh, so yeah, no, they or, or you know, it's or to paraphrase, but you never have Anakin be like, yeah, no, what is this prophecy that everyone keeps talking about? Yo, Nick, about? Like, okay, prophecy. let me show you. Yeah, yo, yo, Jamie, pull that up about well, the prophecy. Well, right now I have pulled up the Gray Jedi. It's it's pretty much confirmed that they're not canon because they only show up yeah. in the extended lore that was cut. So see if uh, you, you can that. see if you can pull up anything. See if you can pull up anything about the prophecy in episode right. one, like the origins of that. Star yeah, pull that up. They go to find out what where the what prophecy. the prophecy is, oh, and it turns bro, out it's just a pro- room from uh yeah, I typed from in Harry Potter and then prophecy. Yeah, I was thinking, that's exactly what I was thinking about Noah. But they yeah, went the, to the Ministry of Magic. Yeah, the one with but all. But like that one's talked the, about a lot in in Harry Potter. Like it's from day. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. From movie one, yeah. you're like, hey, he's chosen because X Y Z. Okay, but 
no, but the difference they don't between actually mention it until a while later because oh, the prophecy right well was... oh episode, mm-hmm. oh, episode mm-hmm. three or something yeah or they, they mention well, it until a while later Even but more? It, it's kind of the, the thing is it's kind of i only watched the movie so yeah. i don't know well I they don't the, hey, the movie. harry potter harry potter's prophecy the you know about him you know having to essentially fight voldemort it's yeah. it's in it's a way, laid, implied. It's, laid, it's, laid it's implied out. in books. Yeah, it's, yeah, laid, it's out. laid out. Because they're like, but oh, it's not until book five. It's oh, not until book five where they, the best movie. you know, explain to you. And but the thing about the Star Wars prophecy is, it's never laid out. It's never followed up on. It's never nodded to. Unlike in Harry Potter, that they're constantly coming back to it and they yeah. finally explain it. Mm. Yeah, it's not. It wasn't laid out. It was never like we don't even know what the prophecy said. All we know is that oh my gosh, Anakin was stupid. meant to destroy this. Myth. All right, I, yeah. I'm looking Uh-oh. up this Who prophecy right now. Not... It's so stupid. All right, let's see what we got. All right, it's a long paragraph. Are you ready for this? Go ahead. Let's Lay it on go. me. As foretold, read it in, in your a... most sultry voice. As foretold in a Jedi prophecy made by an ancient Jedi mystic and recorded via holocron, the chosen one would bring about the destruction of the Sith and the restoration of the balance in the Force. So basically, they're like, "Hey, uh, some old stinky guy put that's on a That's not vague at all. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's that's, that's the that's origin. The that's it. Well, it's I, like one sentence. Wow. Well, the and then it's like, and then it's like, however. So, okay, so all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So that the prophecy is the, okay. So this adds. Here's another question I just thought of. The mm-hmm. prophecy is, oh, the chosen one's going to come and destroy the Sith, right? Okay, yeah. great, whatever, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But in episode one, when he says, when they when they're interviewing Qui Gon, and he's like, and he shows them the recording of them fighting Maul for the first time, and they're like, "What is that? What is that?" And uh, and they're like, "Hey, I think it's a Sith Lord." And then Kiari Moon, he's like, "Wait a minute, but they've been extinct for a millennium." Oof. So, so <laughs> does does that mean that there was already a chosen one that destroyed, or at least they think there was a chosen one that destroyed the Sith? Because they're like, they don't want to believe it's a Sith. Mm-hmm. So Checkmate atheist. That That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Checkmate atheist. Oh my god. I mean, no, that, like, did, yeah. did it, so they obviously believe that the Sith are extinct, which means that at some point that the, the Force was restored and that the balance is over, you know, whatever. So they think the prophecy is fulfilled, right? Mm. Is, is, isn't that? And then it's like, well, oh no, I like, mean, uh, the prophecy. It's a prophecy, man. Or is it like a self-repeating prophecy where it's like, there's always gonna be Sith but at some point, a Jedi is going to step up and smack him down again. Is well, that the idea? I don't know. I guess so, because everything has to be balanced, right? So if you destroy the Sith, something else is going to rise up, equivalent to the Sith, because everything has to okay, be balanced so, out. Right. So here's, it's a self-repeating. Actually, this, is, this is something I... No, here's some actual lore that I looked into um, after I had that question. I was like, what is this? Because you, you just mentioned, you, you came up with the concept that, well, there's always going to be something to rise up, and it has to be in balance, right? Yeah. The that that plays on the concept that 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 uh the force is like two parts of a teeter totter. That if you don't have if you have too much light side, then it's imbalanced. If you have too much dark side, it's imbalanced. You know that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. That's not right, how so. Lucas originally wrote it. It's, what Lucas yeah. wrote, and he revealed this in an interview after they questioned him about it, was what the Sith do is they what the Sith do like, and this is something that is alluded to in Episode Three when he says abilities that seem unnatural mm. what the sith do is they corrupt and warp the force in a way that's not natural and it and basically damage it you know not, not like damages the force but it's used in a way it's not supposed to be used yeah and so until you just until you get rid of the things that are using the force the wrong way and are warping and you know messing with it corrupting it there is no the, the, the force can't be balanced that's, mm. the, that's the concept he wrote that whole thing with. You know, whether or not that's something that they're going to play out in the future, I don't think that's something that they're going to play out in the future. So, yeah. like, so how do you that balance the Force? Um, get rid of the Sith. It's simple. You have get to Thanos. Sure, you know, oh, yep. Yes. <laughs> Thanos. Hmm, that's interesting. Like that, because... by, so, so by ba- that's why they're so adamant in uh, the o- original trilogy that the Emperor and Vader must die, that they must be destroyed, that, that Luke has to stop them. Because... They're using the, they're warping and 
distorting the force for their own personal gain, which is not how the force is supposed to be used. Mm. And until so that, there is uh, that, yeah, until that that uh, knot or that wound huh. can be healed, then the, the force can't be in balance. That's the idea. So, anyway. so what you're saying is that there there is a way to perfectly balance the force. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yes, there is. See, because and, and, I've always because I always thought about the force kind of like a wheel like it's constantly cycling and it can never truly ever be balanced yeah, yeah. right but I, I mean what you're saying i guess makes sense that like you know in order for all things to be balanced and altruistic good must win at the end hmm. yeah but i don't know i feel like go that ahead was i'm what sorry lucas that was lucas's original vision now it's not right. really revealed in an interview. Now, what that means now, now that 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 being said, you can see that theme being played out in the OT and in the prequels, but that's not gonna have. I don't think that's gonna have any bearing on anything going forward because it's been given to other people and they've decanonized yeah. everything, and you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. they have their right. own visions of what's gonna happen. So oh, I think yeah. no, I I, doubt, I think I, that what Lucas, I think that what Lucas, true. I mean, but. I think yes, like in an all perfect world, if you got rid of the Sith, there would be balance. But I think that's almost impossible. Like Yeah, I think something else would even if it, that's true. There's too many yeah, there's too many people out there. And like you even have things like and this is what the Clone Wars goes into, things like the Night Sisters who do kind of meddle with the dark side and do stuff like that. Like so do you have yeah. to get rid of them too? Mm. Like Yeah, like that's what I'm kids, saying. You know. Here's what I the think. Here's what I think, and I think this is coming from like my own personal philosophy. Um, that let's say that let's say that you could actually get rid of all the Sith. Let's say you could get rid of the Sith, the Dark Sisters. Say you get rid of all those bad people. I think that even if you could get rid of all those people, you know, the human heart or the alien heart, mm -hmm. there's bound to be somebody's gonna yeah. come up and take and there's gonna be a vacuum. And you would it. be creating a vacuum. Yeah. Mm. So that's what I'm saying. I no, think I it's. Mean, I, I, I think it. The, the thing is, the thing is, no. Like he's he's thinking of it more as that the Sith are parasites on the Force, rather than like there is a balance thing. So if you take the right. parasites off, there's no there's no vacuum there, um, because they weren't supposed yeah. to be there in the first place. Mm -hmm, that makes that's sense. the idea they're coming from. Yeah. But can you ever get to a point where there are no parasites, yeah. or can so you ever get to a point where you prevent like, parasites from appearing? Well, uh, sanitizer? Lucas certainly sanitizer. thought so. No. Yeah, Luke is certainly thought so really. with the. <laughs> That's right. Luke, yeah, Sorry. Luke is certainly thought so with the prequels and the original trilogy, and how like the the Sith were destroyed in the end of the uh, the uh, the trilogy, okay. right? That and that was right. that whole thing that they were uh, that they were building on. But when you introduce things like the Clone Wars, which had to have more stories and more things go on, mm. then you start introducing extended stuff, which is very on the line as to and it doesn't really fit with the original vision so that's where you get all these questions coming from because right yeah mm -hmm. and this goes down to one of the things that is the biggest thing about star wars is the first three movies pretty consistent as far as like the universe but yeah. as soon as it fits, it fits, new yeah. stuff starts coming out inconsistencies all over the place yeah because there's always this dichotomy of like well you have the Sith and you have the uh, Jedi, but in the EU, you actually come to find out there's more yeah, than yeah, there's yeah. other force sensitive creatures out there. Yeah, yeah, Leia there's, was yeah, there's a billion different things. Leia was oh, eventually yeah. a Jedi yeah. at some point in the EU. Who was Leia? She had a yellow lightsaber. Yeah, yeah, she did. She did do that. So, but, but I think huh. her thing was—I don't—if I remember correctly, her thing wasn't like, oh, I'm going to be force Jedi and use the use the force to as combat, kind of like Luke yeah. did, but more as in. I'm going to use the force as like sensing and she had mm -hmm. more uh, a deeper under well, like I mental understanding of it and that yeah. kind of thing. I say EU but then episode 8 comes out and she force flies herself oh, to that Oh god. Door. No gosh. <laughs> god Why do you have to bring that up? Uh, why do you have to bring that up? Because it's what happens. Speaking of it happens. the oh, OG. Oh god. Like Okay. Like if we if we Lucas's original vision, vision out of the question like Mm -hmm. I know we're totally going back to a previous conversation, but I've been thinking about this. Yeah, yeah. You were talking about how the prophecy mm -hmm. implies that that the whoever the chosen one is is going to destroy the Sith. Mm -hmm. 
death. So like, yeah. but yeah, that's true. When, once they were destroyed, it's like, oh, they've been gone linea. Like, but obviously they were still, some people still stuck around like, like, remnants. like Sidious and Plagueis and, um, and Darth Maul. So like, yeah. so they're not completely destroyed, but yeah. not to like to bring in the sequel trilogy into this i know in uh episode seven maz kanada says like oh the dark side is, has has had many faces the empire and now the first yeah. order so like i think if in the new movie they're probably gonna have something i i hate to say it but maybe they're gonna reveal that like ray is the chosen one like mm, i don't know she's the new chosen one chosen yeah, one to me thinking yeah yeah. The that's kind of what I was wondering the in the first, in the Force Awakens. That's kind of like the thing I was thinking. I was like, maybe that's a, maybe that's what they're going to go to because she can automatically do crazy things. Yeah. And yeah. The only other time we've, and the only other time we've seen somebody do that. Not even Luke could do kind of those kind of. No, but Luke was had a... similar type. Yeah, Luke had. A I mean, it wasn't that extensive, of course. But yeah, but uh, Anakin had some like he usually had really flat, fast reflexes, and he could kind of know things without you know really knowing them. And she, so I was like, is, are they going to build another chosen one thing? Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, I, f I feel like Luke, Ren, Luke, Kylo Ren. Luke's whole thing, then Luke's whole fight was pointless because yeah. thirty years later, it's just going to happen again. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you guys well, think? Yeah. No. Do you guys think it's important? Okay. Do you guys think it's important to know? Because I know like a lot of people are super like, oh, oh, you know, is it really important who Ray's parents are? No. No, I don't think. So. I don't think so. I think she needs to I don't be her own so. person. I think she does not need to be a Skywalker or a no, no or Kenobi. a Kenobi. Definitely not. Definitely not. I I hate. I'm I, totally. I'm totally okay with the. Oh, your parents. Your parents are just yeah, nobody. Oh, like I'm that. perfectly like, fine with that. I like that, and I don't care about the Knights of Ren. So they're not, them not showing up, I could be happy with. Hey, they died off screen, and then Snoke. Yeah, I, don't I, care. Think... I don't care about Snoke because he was Emperor 2.0 and he didn't do anything. I cared about Snoke. I did. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I did care about Snoke. Maybe in a not I anymore, say... but I did okay. at one point. <laughs> okay. Not not to say so anything say like. That... <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh me. Not to say okay. Anything. Okay, so not I don't want to like spoil anything about Rise of Skywalker, but this is gonna get kind of goofy. But I did see that there were, were leaked Lego sets. That's a lot of ways to like people. <gasps> oh find, yeah, that's how you yeah. Like spoilers, but the Knights of Ren is part of it. Rise of Skywalker. Hmm. Or well, Lego set. Yeah, I, I will. Say. It's about time. It's about time they yeah. mentioned it, and then they they need to bring. Yeah. If they're gonna do something with it, it better be now, or they should retcon episode seven and be like it's knights of ren what's that yeah i don't even know what that is sounds pretty Dude. well the thing the thing that makes it interesting is you said uh race parentage doesn't matter at all mm, right but the thing that's interesting is the title of the next movie is rise of skywalker oh so it's because oh. that that calls that entire thing back into question yeah that calls yeah, all of that, like, because oh well, could she actually be a Skywalker? Because it's referring to her rise. I don't think that's. I think I don't think that's true. But is mm -hmm. it like, well, then is it Luke Skywalker somehow? I know he's going to come back as a Force ghost. That's pretty much been confirmed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so like, is it him being like doing Yoda things again? Like he's calling out <laughs> lightning on people, or I, I don't know. <laughs> he calls lightning. Honestly, on Kylo I Ren. think it's. Yeah, honestly, I think it's a horrible title. Mm, yeah like maybe oh maybe it's terrible titles it's not that good i was I, not really hyped when i was cool well, i guess no I well, like, here's the, well here's the thing though. here's the thing though if you notice there's a subtle are... shift in narrative between episode seven and episode eight yeah. um of course the uh, who's well, the only character direction. who got <laughs> development in episode eight it was kylo ren, ren. kylo and ren kylo and he, yep. ren he is a skywalker a, he's a descendant of a skywalker so maybe yeah they're gonna flip it on its it head into where Kylo Ren is the, the he's the one who's rising, and then he maybe takes yeah everyone's grandpa's to, like, name. I could see that. I could see everyone that. Seems to forget that. So do you think? Do you think Ren okay. is a Skywalker? Yeah. Yeah. And like I, that's what I was gonna to say too. Is like yeah. Maybe it's a, a maybe Skywalker it's a Kylo Ren story. Maybe they both finally you know get some development at the same time. So, so do you think? Uh, do you think Kylo? 
is going okay so here's the thing do you think kyle's going to be redeemed well he do you think he redeemed himself for I, about two seconds in episode eight and then he did the the trope of i'm not gonna yeah say, it's, it's all for me now he's yeah mm. true can he be redeemed the one is he a, thing that i really like i think he can i have oh i think he can be he can I think definitely think Ray's definitely the key to that. Cause yeah. He thinks for some reason he thinks hot more highly of her than yeah. of anybody else, which is you know. Yeah, that's but true. But he also, if, he's impressed if by the story. Is a, if the story is about him being redeemed, who's the big villain then? Ooh. Like who does he turn against? Is it just the First Order? Is it just more troopers? Well, he already turned against you know? Snoke, so I mean. <laughs> yeah. Dang, he's gonna. Well, maybe true, the Emperor but... is still. Maybe the emperor was. Oh, maybe the emperor. Did, up maybe he becomes a, a force voice in his head, and he has to. Whatever. Yeah. Well, he. In in episode seven and eight, would you consider Snoke and, um, is he considered a Sith, like a formal Sith? No, no idea. I don't no. think so. I don't think no. he's considered anything. So like where that. are the Sith? The Sith. Um, I think the Sith. I think the Sith. Sith are gone. The Sith, Sith died, died out. Sith died out mm. though, so. like, yeah, evil is just like n- t- takes the name of the first order, you know. Let's, instead l- of the Sith. let's look it up. Yeah. Let's look it up. What happened to? Uh, p- pull it up, Jamie. Also, Benny might want to step away from your mic a little yeah, bit. Yeah, for dude. sure, my dude. A- again, bro. Again, yeah. my guy. Yeah. yeah. What happened to the yeah. Sith? Maybe I need to stop talking. Maybe I need to stop getting excited. You know. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. There we go. ASMR. Oh, that's cool. We can do an bro. ASMR. Oh, oh dude, no. no. I'd hang myself before I do that. Darth Vader, <laughs> okay, apparently Darth Vader was technically Benny hanging the last... himself ASMR. Oh, oh, my oh God. dude, can you imagine can you imagine me on MSR? Yo, dude, welcome to oh. Hey, my dude, oh. welcome. Okay, so we got was Darth Vader technically the last Sith Master? This was on a forum 2 years ago. Mm. 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 It was last forum. active mm. 10 months ago. Maybe let's back Ooh. out of that. I don't was think it so. Red- no, read it. Read it. No, okay, yeah, go okay, ahead. Okay, okay, okay. This is from. Ten months ago, wasn't This that is bad. from that sci-fi one. dot stack. Two years Exchange. ago was when the last when the last Jedi came out. So. Oh yeah. dang, that's right. Uh, all right, let's see. As we all know, Anakin Skywalker, aka Darth Vader, was Sith apprentice under Sith Master this Darth Sidious people. Palpatine. They operated in rule of two, meaning the uh, the Vader would have to kill Palpatine to inherit his title to become new master. Oh, well, that makes sense, I guess. Vader, okay, can we pause right quick? Can, can yeah. I say something right quick about oh, the rule of two? Yeah, okay. The rule of two is the rule of two, in my opinion, is BS because they get around it. Well, no, no, no listen, yeah, yeah. they get around that. The Sith get around the rule of two using titles mm. because in Rebels. No, I'm serious because in Rebels they got this guy named the Inquisitor, and he's for yeah. all intent and purposes a Sith, but they don't call him a Sith because of the Rule of Two. They call him the Inquisitor. So I I just think it's BS. Like the whole Rule of Two, it's it's dumb. Mm. It's kind of dumb well, to me. He was. Do you know how the Rule of Two came about? Yeah, one has to kill the other. No, 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 no. Darth Plagueis. Do you know the how it came about? Darth Plagueis. No, no, it wasn't Darth Plagueis. It was way before that. Back in ten million so, before the Civil War, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, a thousand, yeah, a thousand years. It was the cool. Jedi Sith War, <laughs> and it was oh, okay. Darth Darth Bane. And oh, after, okay, that that guess, name sounds familiar. Right, and it was after a uh, a huge battle between the Jedi and Sith that like wrecked an entire planet. Like it was a monstrous battle, and I think I think Darth uh, Bane used a weapon that killed ev- like mm. everybody on the planet basically. And so, all that was left was him and his and his local native who just happened to, to survive this young girl. And so he took her as his apprentice, and he started. He said, "The reason that the Jedi, Sith Order fell was because one, we were too big of a target. The Jedi were it was easy for the Jedi to come in and attack us. And two, the Sith there are too many Sith, and they started fighting amongst themselves, which weakened mm-hmm, them and mm-hmm. made them easy targets. Yeah. So for now on, there will only be two: a, a master." And an apprentice, and then mm. the struggle for power will be between them. Yeah, well, technically, so that, was, that was that's the lore behind that. Yeah, well, technically, apparently, the Sith die out, but the the yeah. um the uh the ideals that they have 
uh, still around. But Snoke most likely isn't because the rule no. of two takes place and Vader didn't die as a Sith master. He died as a Jedi because he was redeemed. So he went from mm-hmm. Sith apprentice. So to he Sith. did bring balance to the force. He d- yeah. Did oh, yeah. he he fulfilled the prophecy. Son of a. He, he fulfilled did. the prophecy. <laughs> dang. See, but being oh, and bringing it back, my crap. dude. He oh, dang. And, and he and he's the and he's the one who killed Sidious. <gasps> yeah. So he That's became true. the Sith master and then died as a Jedi. That's how he becomes a ghost. <gasps> so the Sith mm-hmm. are gone. So some other evil forces out there. Take. Well, who's who's preventing who's preventing somebody from taking up that mantle again? No one. Yeah, honestly, honestly, what's really like what? So the Sith, quote unquote, die out. Yeah, the the bloodline of Sith die out, and now there's a gap, right? But mm. anyone who's evil can claim themselves to be the Sith. Yeah. Well, not to mention that they tease. Well, yeah. They, they tease Sidious and and the. Yeah. Oh yeah. In the trailer. Well, he could come back as you know the the Force apparition, but um, mm-hmm. remember, Asajj Ventress called herself a Sith, and Dooku was like, "No, you're not." <laughs> She was but there's a, nobody, there's no, there's no Sith around anymore to like tell. Yeah. You know. There's so no if Kylo Sith. Ren wanted to put a, to but put then, a that, that goes back to fancy new upgraded mask on. No, go ahead. That goes up back to Benny's point of the rule of two, like the whole like, yeah, I'm a Sith. No, you're not. Yeah. Where it's like they get around that with title. So technically, I mean, she's not, she's not like officially a Sith because she doesn't have a master and she's not an apprentice. Like, like a, she's not recognized by a Sith as a Sith. But yeah, she still does a Sith. She does. She does what a Sith does, she and she's Sith, basically though. an apprentice for Dooku. Yeah, she, basically. yeah. She actually is. She just and doesn't have the title. Whole, yeah, and he uses that title as a way to control her and be like, "Oh, yeah. well, if you were a good Sith, you'd do this." And she's like, "Well, uh, 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 you know." Yo, where does that leave? But yeah, General like Grievous Benny's right. Then? Was General Grievous a Sith? He's he not. Nah, nah. No, he just no. Well, yeah, he, Jedi. He, was, he, he was just. He's just a cool dude. Yeah, he's just no, a he sick dude. Tra- he was, and he was sick. He was trained. I don't think he's force sensitive. He was trained he's by not, yeah. Dooku no. to combat Jedi. Yeah. So he that's how he's that's how he has and I think that was something that was really cool about like going back, connecting to that uh that one series that you mentioned, Nick, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the cartoon network mm-hmm. one. Is at the end of that first episode, um there are a bunch of Jedi trapped in the ship and they're surrounded by droids and they've oh, been they have nothing scene. left and they're the yes. only ones left. And and Grievous comes, and this is before Grievous got all screwed up and had the cough and everything. So yeah. he comes out mm-hmm. and he just completely like he takes Red on what four or five Jedi mm-hmm. and just destroys them. Master Jedi, he took out a Master Jedi. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He, Chuck T was there, Kiari Mundi, mm-hmm. and then like I think three or four. I think Ala Sakura was there too. Yeah, I think so. And too. those three were like the only ones that to survive. Mm-hmm. And they're like yeah, the because in the trap in that thing. Uh, in the Clone Wars, there's a Clone Wars episode that that explains to you how Grievous came to you because they actually go to his house. Mm. Mm. They go to they go to his palace. Yeah, I remember that episode. They do a house tour. And and, and they. <laughs> Yo, MTV, welcome to my crib. Welcome to my crib. Welcome to my crib, MTV. So yeah, I I can't remember who all goes, but they go to his palace and um, they it explains how like it actually shows you what he used to look like mm. and how. He he got like he. There's a particular reason why he hates the Jedi. It's because they screwed him over. So I can't remember exactly, mm-hmm. but he just got modification. I mean, he just got modifications. Like yeah, he used to be yeah. a human-looking guy, Body and then mod. now he's all robotic. Yeah. Body mod. So it, it's mm-hmm. it's really interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's. I thought he was such a cool character. I wish yeah, they would have had. I think you know, so. He played more of a bigger part in the the Clone Wars miniseries than he did in the <laughs> than episode three. Dude, he was sick yeah. in yeah. the Clone Wars miniseries. And I mean, it he explains was... how he got all coffee. It was Mace Windu. Mace Windu crushed his chest. Yep, like a, like a that's B-A. what that was. I'm right. gonna watch yeah. this. Now. Which this was also sick. in, which was also yeah, that was yeah, that was in the uh, the the cartoon thing. Yeah, it's definitely worth a watch for sure. Mm. Definitely. I definitely Big recommend fan. it. Big fan. Most of it is, especially the first episode. Most of it is just a lot of disjointed battles. Yeah. So Kit Fisto mm-hmm. has a not battle a under under in the ocean and mm-hmm. oh, it's a bunch of, like, Kit Fisto underwater yes. troopers. And Ma- Windu yeah, has and an Mace episode. Windu, yeah. Mace Windu takes on an entire like legion of of uh, battle droids yep. without his lightsaber. Oh, dude, that's so, cool. so good. That's so that's, that's awesome. Cool. I remember that. 
at yeah, a desert some, planet, right? Oh yeah, uh, it's a no, big it field. A, it's a big it field. It wasn't a desert planet. It was just like a yeah. It was like big, Naboo. It was like, it was like the fields planet. of Naboo, pretty much. It's yeah. a farming planet. Dude, that yeah, that that one was sick. Yeah, yeah, it was sick. It show it shows. And then, and then of course, mm-hmm. you're good. And then of course they have the one battle between Obi Wan and. Uh, uh, Dirge. Dooku? Yeah, Dirge. That no, freakish. Not, not Dirge. Wait, who Dirge. was Dirge? He was. Uh, Dirge is a, uh, a bounty hunter, basically. Yeah, he's a bounty hunter. <laughs> he's a bounty hunter. Like you, just, you know, just you can just look, look he's up. The big, I can't explain how he's a big looks. muscly guy. But he's a big. If you, yeah. it, it's like if you play Halo, he's like the hunters. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. He's like that. That's he's very like that. true. Well, you know, I, really I know cool. mm-hmm. that I was thinking that I've seen like the internet. And something that, you know, at this point, Disney, I don't know. So what if episode nine, what if they make an episode 10? They are. They're, they're oh, making the, they the new trilogy has already been announced for the 2020s. No oh, way. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the guys, who, uh, the guys who did Game of Thrones uh, season eight are the ones writing the 2020 series. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Oh, you're right. Oh, speaking, speaking of writing. Here's something else that I learned about who's <laughs> writing the next Star Wars. This is interesting. So first of all, J.J. Abrams is writing it, mm-hmm. which I have very mixed feelings about because although I, there are movies of his that I'm like, yeah, it's not bad. I do not believe him to be a very good story writer. Mm. He's a good director as far as films go. Yes, But fair. as far as writing goes, I don't think that, that's definitely not his strong suit in my opinion. Mm. Also, the other guy who's okay. helping him write is the guy who wrote Justice League and Batman versus Superman. Oh no. Oof. Well, here's the yeah. thing though. Oof. Here's the thing though. You know how they've been releasing Star Wars every single year for this the past five years? Yeah. So has it really been <laughs> yeah. In five so, years well, already? Yeah, Dang. well it was twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen is when uh, Force Awakens came out, twenty sixteen was Rogue One, twenty seventeen was episode eight, twenty eighteen was solo and twenty nineteen this wow. year's episode nine. Yeah. Well, they're taking a big break. Man, There's not going to be notice. any new Star Wars movie confirmed until 2022. So That's they nice. have the time, and it's Good. it's like Halo. They they were releasing all the time, and it was getting worse and worse. So maybe this break is going to be something you know, just like Assassin's Creed needed a big break. They were getting ridiculous. Mm, Assassin's Creed needed to end. <laughs> it needed <laughs> to end after Star- uh, Assassin's Creed Four. Dude, that that that's a different lore episode. Yeah, yeah, that's different, that's different complete. <laughs> Open up a can of worms episode too, everybody. But um, but uh, yeah. yeah so ahead. they already confirmed a, a third trilogy. Yeah, I mean a fourth trilogy. Mm-hmm. It's gonna start God. in twenty twenty two. Why are they milking him? Uh, twenty twenty two. No, 20... they're gonna keep making Star Wars movies until people stop watching them. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. That's the, but, that's the realist. That's the realistic thing about it. Yeah, it'll just turn into the that's Fast the, and Furious. Oh gosh! Oh, dude. it's gonna no, it's gonna it's it's gonna turn to the MCU. Yeah, it's but the thing is, oh, but no. the problem is with the MCU. As far as like length, you can't really yeah. compare it to the MCU though because it gets worse and worse, and but then all of a sudden there's a big massive resurgence to where it's the number one rated, uh, the number one grossing movie of all time now. Mm-hmm. So I mean, and it was yeah. objectively a good film. Yeah, yep, yeah. True. So I mean, MC- you're gonna. You said the M- the MCU gets worse and worse. Well, it gets more by the numbers up until because you know you have uh you start off yeah. with Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor, the big tree, you know, the big trio, right. and then it's like, oh gee, t- freaking, I guess I have to watch Thor too because it has an Infinity Stone in it, and mm-hmm. then it's like, dude, Iron Man, it's like, it's like, it's like, three. It's yeah. like Iron Man That's three, true. come on, point. kill me. Yeah. But then it's like. <laughs> hmm. Ant Man's kind of interesting, I guess. Ant Man too. Kind of interesting. Yeah. Well, it's, I, mean, uh, I love the first one. I love the first. Uh, one. You better put some don't, respect don't, on Ant Man. I love the first one, but don't then it's give like any anything about Ant Man. Then it's like <laughs> <laughs> then it's like Ant Man two. It's like all right. Well, there was no enemy in Ant Man two. Nothing happened. Dude, Ant Man two is great. What are you, ta- oh, what gosh, are you talking? Oh gosh, talking about? There was no bad There's guy in that episode. movie. There yeah, was no, there was episode. no bad guys in guys, in two of the should, movies for sure for sure. We should ghost. She's the, not a bad guy. I'll kill yellow man. jacket. Oh, sh- so, shut up, shut up. We should save this argument. For, yes, for another, another for another episode. episode. Okay, okay, but <laughs> oh my god, stop. Okay, okay, all right. I have an idea. Check out, check out. Get your counter- imagine, counter- imagine, counter- imagine Paul Rudd as a Jedi. Ooh. I'd be down. <laughs> well. 
He'd be like wisecracking the whole time. It'd be but great. But if Star Wars I'd gets too no, funny, then I'm gonna no, be upset. Is... It's not. Ca- no, oh, no. it's a fantasy movie. It's a fantasy movie, but still. No, <laughs> this, is what you do. this is what you do if you want to do that, oh, and you want to make an, a non-serious and making fun of stuff. It's gotta be a side Star story. Wars movie. You yeah. You make a tag and bink movie. You ever? You guys know about them? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I do know. And you. Scott and Paul Rudd. <laughs> Yeah, you cast Paul Rudd as one of them. And Seth Rogen is the other one. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're just I don't even like know who these guys are. The whole time. Are they, do they show up all the yeah. time or something? Are these two characters like in all No, the... okay, so... You never heard of them? It's a, What's our names again? Tag series. and what? Tag, tag Go, and... Jamie, pull it up. It's, a, jo- it's a joke series. It was a comic run. It's a joke series where it's kind of like... It's written kind of like uh, Rogue One where it's like all while Star Wars is happening but away from like the main action. All right, those and are my favorite... Unluck- yeah, those are my favorite kind of stories. The two un- yeah, they're the two unluckiest guys in the galaxy, Tag and Bink. And it's like, it's it goes through, and it's like, they're responsible for, like, everything that happens in a galaxy, basically. Oh, my gosh. Like, one oh, of them Tag is, and Bink. Yeah. They have, what one of the best ones, I think, was, um, there was something that happened, I can't remember exactly. I used to read a bunch of their comics, but there's one where they had it out. They had it in for C-3PO. He mm. just kept crossing him, and he kept screwing him over in some way, like, so they were like, oh, next time I see that stupid droid, I'm going to blast him. And then in the comic, it cuts to them, cuts to the scene in, in episode five when uh, when C-3PO goes in that room and is like, oh, what are you doing here? And then he gets blasted. And it's like it shows from, from their perspective. It's like, I told you I was going to destroy that droid. And they're like, man, did you really have to do that? So stuff like, and, and it also explains why Boba Fett sucked in episode six. Oh, my gosh. Because – because it was like what they kept getting in trouble with him too, hmm. and I think what was it? What, what happened? happened? I can't remember exactly what happened, but he ended up where the real Boba Fett got like knocked out and tied up and like thrown oh in, in his okay. ship or well, something like that. They and then okay, okay, good. yeah. But oh, I was just no, gonna say like, they're confirmed oh. canon because they're in, they're in a cameo in the solo movie. Oh my! Wait, gosh. what? Yeah, they they made us they oh made a cameo gosh. in solo. Uh, did they Star really? Wars. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, I don't remember oh that. I, I'm god. seeing, I'm seeing it right here. Oh my god! So they who are they? What? They were just some guys in the background, Imperial. Yeah, because they they kept sneaking their way through the Imperial. Now that's what that was one thing that they would always do is just like oh, end damn up. It, never mind. It was a deleted scene. No, oh, there we go. Oof. Well, it's still... Dodge that bullet or that laser blast. Ha <laughs> uh-huh. ha. Yeah, unlike Greedo. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's. What was the, so what I, I got something. This, is, this, this is like, uh, let's see. Um. Okay, so this is this is basically just a synopsis of the kind of stuff they get onto. Tag and Bink are two soldiers aboard the Rebellion flagship Antiv Four when the Star Destroyer Star Destroyer Devastator captures it. So the start of Episode Four. Almost after all, after almost being captured, they dress up as the stormtroopers and are transported to the Death Star. They try to leave by stealing t- TIE fighters twice. Mm. Darth Vader realizes his need for two TIE pilots as wingmen for his fight against the rebel starfighters attacking the station. As the comic illustrates, it is not the Millennium Falcon's fault that Vader is almost killed in the trenches of Death Star, but Tag and Bink's lousy piloting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Although the two TIE fighters were appeared to be destroyed, the next comic states they were in fact in the background when Vader selected the two pilots and they stole an Imperial landing craft and escaped from the Death Star moments before it exploded. So, Damn. those, those kind of guys. See, those are my favorite That's types what, of things. Yeah. I love side stories and uh, I yeah. love filler episodes and uh, Japanese cartoons, we'll call them. Um, or in like it, oh dude my favorite episodes of Adventure Time were freaking side stories. Mm. I love I love side stories and like uh, goofy characters. Uh, I love extended yeah. I love the extended universe of anything like Halo. Big fan of all that st- ah. extended lore, Star Wars extended lore. I love side stories more than some of the main stories honestly. Well, you know yeah. what you know what I was thinking yeah. speaking about side stories. So you know how in episode four, mm-hmm. they're like, oh, if you shoot the missile through the trash compactor, the whole thing blows up, right? Yeah. And and seemingly you go, well, that's stupid. Why would you put the weakest, yeah. why would you put the weakness of that giant weapon in the trash? But then, you know, Rogue One clarifies that nuance. Yeah. And that was actually 
well received, right? Yeah. So yeah, why why is that nuance well received? But when Solo, I'm yeah, when Solo tries yeah. to clarify nuances, why you know why are those not well received? How is it clarified in Rogue One? I don't. Well, so uh, because basically the yeah the dad the dad her dad is uh yeah a rebel her dad planned it. pretty much. He was like, I Wait, don't want to be a rebel. He doesn't, I don't want to be part of the Empire anymore. And they're like, you have to build the Death Star. So Wait, he's like, he planned the he planned the trash compactor. The yep. yeah, no, not the, not the, not the, no. He's he's talking about the exhaust port. Yeah, the exhaust the port. Oh, yeah, exhaust oh, port. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. exhast port. Oh, I was about to say, wait, I'm confused. The trash no, I get, I got that alien port. grabs Luke. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Mm. Yeah. So that okay. So this is why to, to your question, why Solo didn't why Solo didn't work and why Rogue One did mm. is because Rogue One took a self aware approach where it's like, well, that yeah. seems like a really big oversight for the yeah. Empire to say. You know, what, all that would take is a $20 grate to put on that thing, and, it, you know, you're fine. But, like, well, how about instead we make it so that it was intentionally designed as a weakness so small that the Empire wouldn't notice it, which mm, right. makes sense. Because they would never think – because they're designing these things to defend off, like, entire uh, Starfleet. They're not thinking 30 fighters from a, a, sec, a rebel base is going to just jump them and, and hit them, you know, hit them like that. Mm. So – the way the reason it didn't work in solo as far as nuances goes is one, it none of those things that they tried to cover were plot holes covering solo, were plot yeah. holes consult, concerning that mm -hmm. character. And they felt like they had to explain it anyway, which then ruined the mystique of the character. Yeah. Yep, you know, right. We well, don't also, really yeah. need to know we don't need to know why he got his name. We don't need to know why he calls Chewbacca Chewy. Yeah. You can explain how he meets Chewbacca. That's fine. I didn't like how they did it, but that's fine. <laughs> no, I didn't that. either. <laughs> no you don't, but you don't have to you also do not have to explain why, you know, he's uh where he gets his gun. Yeah. You know, I mean that one could be a more interesting thing to have a story attached to. But other than that, you don't need to explain all that. Yeah. I would have rather have seen solo as an adventure taking place maybe just a little bit before episode four, not mm. like a backstory of the character, but just an adventure where it's like, maybe they could play on the whole thing with, uh, maybe they'll play on the rivalry with Boba Fett. Maybe they could play on uh, that one thing, the line he mentions to the job was like, even, even uh, smugglers get boarded sometimes, which is, you know, they're mentioning like how he jettisoned the smuggling thing that he was taking because the empire boarded him. You could mention mm -hmm. something like that. That could be well, that could be a good story. Well, it's, but I think instead, it, it, they gave yeah. us. They tried to explain the character, and you, it's a character that's. It was an impossible task from the beginning. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know yeah. how it was going to work. Well, I think it was also. Well, yeah, go ahead. The whole Especially Kessel since, Run like, thing, like hmm, they did, they didn't need to explain the no. Kessel Run. We knew what it no. was from episode four. It's like, yeah, it's a it's a run. That you made, he made it twelve well, parsecs. It's, well, the thing is, it's a race because they thought parsec was a uh, yeah measurement a, of, a, a, yeah. a measurement, measurement of, of time, time and not it's di a distance. Yeah, but see, that's the whole well, point what, what of you, that line is easily, that you well, you could easily explain that away as saying like that's he's saying that to test Obi Wan into thinking like, am I getting how like it could be a, a throwaway line like, oh yeah, she's a fast ship. She made the Kessel run in twelve parsecs, thinking like, oh, if this guy bites that and is like, oh wow, that's really good, then he you could upcharge the crap out of him because he doesn't know crap about mm. yeah. flying and ships. Yeah, yeah that's you know? like that's, you know, oh, that's, he's, that's, he's, that's what I that's that's how you could easily. I, I'm thinking you yeah. could easily do that, explain that away. Because mm. the way I the way I look into it is when he said, oh yeah, you know, this thing clear the Kessel run, however many parsecs. You're at that point. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, I gotta. <coughs> at that point, <laughs> the audience is supposed to catch on and say, "Oh, this guy's actually full of crap." Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, honestly, it was an oversight by George Lucas. That's the real story of it. Is it was a mistake by Lucas that you know fans tried to explain away like we just did. You know, trying to uphold the st the story. It was just a, it's a mistake. Is what it is. Just hmm. like how in. Uh, the same movie that stormtrooper smacks his head on the door and walks into, <laughs> you know, and then they add a little thing. dunk like, version. Yeah, yeah, and, and, yeah. They add, they had an actual. That's that was uh, so funny. The sound effect. Yeah. So, but yeah, like back to the whole solo versus uh, Rogue One is Rogue One 
took something that didn't make sense and made it make sense and mm -hmm. work in the universe. Whereas Solo gave, it gave us answers to questions we never had or never wanted we to answer need, that yeah. didn't need to be answered. Yeah, I was about to say, that's what makes, that's what it's what, so received in Rogue One is because it added something and answered questions that we wanted mm -hmm. to know. And it's like, but Solo yeah. didn't really do anything. So it's like, eh, cool. You're yeah. Me fan and Solo service. Is... You're trying to make it cool story, good bro. for me. Solo is also yeah. about an already existing character. Yeah. That like, if yeah. mm -hmm. we're yeah. talking like, mm -hmm. sit, like Hollywood wise, you're having a, a different play, a beloved cinema character. Mm. And like, that's yeah. honestly yeah. one of the reasons why I want to watch it is because, yeah. Cause like no one can top the, top the performance no. that Harrison Ford did as, as Han Solo. No, you can't. You... And like, yeah. and like in Rogue One characters and like it ties in very, like immediately to the other movie it like mm -hmm. yeah like you said it gives an answer to a question we had been solo mm -hmm. it's just about one guy we already know stuff about and yeah. you know we don't really need and to it know shows, and rogue no one show, shows a yeah and rogue one shows a different t kind of star wars it, yeah. it shows because star wars is always kind of like the the very clear good versus evil type thing but in rogue one you get characters that you know the rebels are interrogating people and they'll shoot them just the same you know, mm, and yeah. they're not, they're not all good guys and they're fighting a war and there are some rebels that are even worse and they're literally terrorists and they're blowing up people in the streets. And like Sal yeah, Guerrero. They're to, yeah. They're <laughs> intending to kill the best character in that whole. I, I yeah, will they're, say. They're, they're intending to kill the, like the, the Imperials that are coming through, but they don't also, they also don't care how many in, civilians are all are in the way when they do it. They just yeah. destroy the whole thing. Mm. And, I will say, uh, like, about Solo, I did appreciate, like, how it kind of explained why people are part of the for, of the empires, because, like, they just need something to, money, they need something they need, to, yeah, to, to escape goodbye. to. Mm. And, like, I liked, I liked they put him in the, in the empire for a little bit, and they're just, like, soldiers, it's like, what are we even doing? Like, what are we fighting? Like, our empire, yeah. our, our, or like whatever our, our our leader just died like who's a new leader you know like i thought that yeah. was a different side of star wars that was cool but everything just didn't work very well for me yeah i just like yeah yeah i agree it, it was entertaining i was entertained but i wasn't like impressed i wasn't even entertained really honestly like, I was I, more I, honest. there were some spectacles that were okay but honestly, I was like, this is a, this is not anything going to be anything new that we haven't seen. You know, yeah. this is going to be they're going to act. They're going to literally rip off a scene from Star Trek where they escape from a black hole by detonating the warp core or in this case, the hyperdrive, mm -hmm. which is, a, you know, they're literally going to do that. And I was like, ah, OK, I, fine. Do that, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. It just it didn't fit. Yeah, the whole movie was just kind of all over the place. I think it also had to do with the, like, I was, t like, e Sans Han Solo not being, or uh, Harrison Ford not being in it, like, a different actor playing him. I was totally okay with how it originally was planned with um, Phil Lord and Chris Miller writing the story. Those dudes are yeah. hilarious. Hmm. Yeah, Disney yeah. just, like, made a big, n big mistake by big kicking old, him off. Oops. Those dudes made, like, the Lego well, movie. They... The twenty one well, Street movie. Then they went on to win an Oscar for Spider Verse. Yeah. Oh. Yep. That's mm. true. They went on to make Suck a much, Disney. much better. Uh, but apparently, their version of Solo was way sillier than what we got. Probably. Like, well, I probably would that. like that a little bit more at this point. Yeah. Hey, as long as I'm. Which I think I think would have been better. And yeah. I think I think some of it still remain. Like I think some of it's left over. Like when uh, Han tries to speak Shri Wook to. Chewbacca hmm. in, when he meets in the first time he's like oh, 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 you know that, I think that was a leftover of them uh, yeah it's so, like Ant-Man I don't know I kind of thought that part was cringy yeah, yeah. not yeah. gonna no. lie not, I thought yeah, that part where he tried to speak Wookiee I was it like didn't, it didn't fit with the rest of the movie is what it was the problem yeah they were trying to make so it they, serious they, yeah oh yeah that's a good point that's a good point yeah if, if it had already been like funny up until that point that that would work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be. It'd be all right if they had done that. Uh, make it either all funny or all serious. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Ant Man. I, I think you were just. Uh... 
you were just trying. You're, yeah. You just said that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Sweet. well, it's because they kicked Edgar Wright off of the the writing team, but some of the stuff yep. left in, like the whole uh, the time when he's like, "Yeah, I was talking to the babysitter who was talking oh, to yeah. the." That was all Edgar that. Wright yeah. for sure. You could. Oh, dude, and that the, was the, you knew yeah, that the train, that was the whole him. train fight scene when they're on the yes, the Thomas oh, the Tank absolutely. Engine. It zooms out. <laughs> it's just like tiny little. That was totally him for Wait, sure. Wait, Nate. So that yeah. that whole uh, the Luis. Uh, monologue was Edgar Wright. It has Probably. to be. It has to be left over because that's oh, if dude. you watch like Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead. Um, very. That's very. very dude, did, right. did for let's save it for another episode though. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's, that's true. A, that's, yeah. that's true. Episode two, baby. <laughs> How, um, for this podcast just... is just us talking about other things. Yeah, well, <laughs> we've been going for an hour and forty-five. My guys. Oh we've been wow. about Star Wars for an hour and forty-five minutes. There's uh, just so much to talk about, you and know. Other things. It really is. Yeah, yeah. but did we ever really? <laughs> we talked about a bunch of stuff, but I mean, maybe I'll just highlight that. one thing. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. One thing I would like to hear mm-hmm. um, from, I guess, all of you is if you let's let's say that okay, let's say that that Star Wars Seven comes comes out and JJ's off the project, and then they give it like they gave they gave it to some kind of a no name guy, Ryan Johnson, to do. What if you were that no name guy? So you have like an empty slate. Well, what I do with Star Wars? Well, Ooh. what do you think you would do with that? Because now oh, you can, because you have to, you have to keep building on what was already set up in Episode Seven. Oh. But you can take it any way you want. What are I you going to do with it? <laughs> let's I'll go. The go, first thing I would do. Yeah, let's let's go in order. Let's do Benny, yeah, then Noah, and then I'll go last. Yeah, I was about to say let's go in order. Or, or, or Andy All right. goes. Yeah, right, I, I, I have stuff to contribute to. So just dude, freaking time. Andy's written. Dissertation right. on me. He's, he's got composition. <laughs> <laughs> he's got composition yeah, books lining uh, his shelves. So I, I guess uh, I'll okay, go first. Benny, uh, goes first. Benny goes first. So I just feel like he broke a lot of the precedent that was established not only in episode seven but in in the past movies. So like for example, Yoda summoning lightning <laughs> from the skies. Oh. <laughs> to me, that was dumb. Okay. Not to mention that, like, oh, the sacred Jedi writings. Like, when was that ever a thing? Ooh. Um, the secret text. And, uh, Coruscant. Yeah, what, what Coruscant. was that ever a thing? Coruscant, my dude. <sighs> but they... Holocron. I mean, the... I guess. The, restric- uh, the restriction. The restriction. Anyway. <laughs> the restriction. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Not to mention the whole, like, like the, the setup of the movie where it's like, hey, I need you to train me. And then he's like, oh, I won't train you. Okay, I'll train you, but then he never actually trains her. That <laughs> yeah, was dumb. True. And then Ray going into that pit is supposed to be an illusion to Luke going into the forest mm, and yeah. seeing Darth mm-hmm. Vader, but then Ray goes into that pit and that contributes absolutely nothing to the story. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep, just, you know, yeah. That, that was that, that was actually pointless. You know, after what mm-hmm. we've seen also, there was just some characters that were super throwaway. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rose is like the number one. Um, <laughs> I didn't mind the, her yeah. character, but it, she I was hated you. her character. I hated her with a passion. Well, she said the love whole is a bit too quick. The whole subplot, yeah, yeah no kidding. Well, I mean, it's the kind whole sub. They're both virgins. That's why. The whole. <laughs> <laughs> The whole subplot of Poe and the tension between the pink haired lady and like that whole subplot was kind of dumb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Mary Poppins moment, it was dumb. Leia should have died. Oh, yep. Mm. So the whole the casino scene, I think, was weird. And... It, it should have lasted longer, yeah. I think. Or not at all. Oh my god. Or not at no. all. I, no. I, lo- I love casino scenes and, and movies and stuff. I like side missions. Maybe if they're pulling a heist or something, that would have been cool. Yeah, oh, we'll and another thing that yeah, I yeah, I also I also just like we're building up snow. I was excited about Snoke. Like I honestly, I when I saw episode yeah. seven, I was like, "Oh man, Snoke looks cool. I'm for it." And then when you're in episode eight, and he's like, "Oh, I was actually the one that linked uh, Kylo Ren and Ray, and you know, yeah. let them have that mm-hmm. moment." I was like, "Oh, I was like, I was like, that's actually kind of dope because he's playing with their minds. He's yeah. looking over the just yeah, and then no, and then like then they have this pretty cool fight sequence in the throne room, and uh, then they kill him in the most stupid yeah. way. 
It's not actually cool. I yeah. watched a breakdown no. of the scene. It sucks. Yeah. It's really badly choreographed. Yeah, it's Chore- it's choreograph wise, it's bad. It's awful. It looks. It looks I think really it was. Dope. I think it was corridor guys. They were looking at it. And they're like, yeah. they're just standing around waiting, swinging swords, because they're waiting for. Yeah, one guy yeah. literally steps back in order to. Yeah, like, he's, he's been, like, okay, okay. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry, we're, we're interrupting. If, yeah, pay, sorry. You pay attention between like if you play attention between. There's a lot of inconsistencies too. It's like, oh, here's a guy with two knives, but in the next shot, because he has to be blocked and then killed. One of his knives disappears, or something yeah. like that. There's a lot of stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. And then okay. uh, at the end, where I I don't know, like the whole Luke Force ghosting, mm. Yeah. Mm. it's just it's yeah. very mm-hmm. it feels super like the fight. It it doesn't come to to an end. Yeah, because yeah. it doesn't resolve. I guess what I'm saying. Mm. Which I mean, I guess you're supposed to leave room for a sequel, but you're supposed to. I, yeah. I just feel like they were just supposed to have resolved episode eight in a it's concise way, yeah. Yeah. and they didn't to some extent. And and Ray yeah, yeah. never got trained. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's All like, sudden, the Jedi like, Order has to die, but then it's like, <laughs> nah, not really. They don't have to die. Never mind. Sick. Like, dude, what? So, <laughs> with all those things that you said suck, what would you do differently then? Like, like Andy was saying, you have right. free reign. Yeah. What's what's your version? Oh, yeah, and gosh. Thinking, your version of episode Because we're, we're already like, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, kind of keep it condensed because we're already, you know, well, you know, yeah. This is the end of it. Uh, I would have, I honestly would have had, I would have had Luke train Ray legitimately. I would have had that whole nod of Ray going into the hole and actually something happening, like. You know, she will. She sees something about herself or whatever. What would happen? Um, what? What would, what would happen? happen? What would you do? What would I, you do I, I would have had her, uh, kind of like what happened to Luke that he saw his, you know, that his the evil his evil side or whatever. Mm. I would have I would have had Ray going into that hole and made her realize one of her character flaws, which was essentially what happened to Luke and uh, right. Dagobah. And then okay. I would have, uh, I would have killed Snope, and I would have explained more of Snope's character, and I probably would have killed him in a better way. And then I would have had that vacuum be filled up by Kylo Ren. Mm. Okay. And I would have never, I, I would have never have had Rose to begin with, and I would have killed Leia. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That's all right. All right. Okay. 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 Mm. All right. So go ahead, yeah, Noah. Go ahead, Noah. Tell us, uh, tell us yours now. Okay, so I, I I agree with a lot of the things, Benny. Just let's just say, right? Like the the movie that Ryan Johnson made is is null. Like he didn't he didn't make it. Okay, yeah, so clean slate. You have. I would, you, you are episode eight. I would yeah. have it. So like, there's the 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 problem is like some of the things he did wasn't necessarily bad. Like I right. do mm-hmm. like the mm-hmm. fact that. Um, I, I like that Snoke. I think Snoke dying is dumb, but I like that now. Um, Kylo Ren is now for first order. I think that is a cool thing. But I think what I would do, honestly, I don't. I don't know what I do with the Luke thing. I don't know what I do. I would kill Leia. Uh, yeah. um, Leia needs to die, and and Luke needs. I think there's more. M- more things need. To- to happen with Luke. Yeah. The only Jedi that they have like you know into and he could he could help them and I think he needs to train. I, I think he needed to train for a bit, but I do like the idea of him being afraid of her power. What I would do per uh, um so you know how like that whole scene is like um Kylo Ren is flying around, he shoots the the thing and he like i don't know if he actually gets like pops Leia out of the ship on accident or if that was somebody else but mm-hmm. he's, yeah. he's he's around okay. and mm-hmm. and i would have it so that he was the one who yeah. actually killed him or mm-hmm. her yeah and, and so unlike yeah. unlike the rage that he felt after he killed his his dad like i would want yeah. like some sort of change of mm-hmm. heart not yeah. necessarily reverse but right i would yeah. have it so that basically kylo ren and and ray start to switch places like he's like realized that he's like like not like that something i don't know i i would have i want ray to turn evil uh, i think oh. that'd be a really cool thing Ooh, she, the like, plot thickens like 
and like she yeah, she's too powerful and like they're already scared of her power and i think like she could get too in her head about like start doing bad things i think that would be an interesting take because like i don't know we don't often have female villains and i think that'd be cool uh, mm, yeah um yeah. and then it would be in keeping Especially with in the Skywalker. you listening yeah. hollywood you had a saw's vent and, race like, and now you have ray <laughs> And especially that would be keeping in line with the Skywalkers being the heroes. Um, yeah. But I, I still really like them fighting together. I, um, but I, I would want basically role yeah. reverse. And I, I want to also, I, I'd also want Snoke to stay around. Cause yeah, I think yeah. I do like how like he was kind of like hooking them up to that force FaceTime thing they had going on. I think that, yeah, like, I don't know. I I like Snoke as a character. I think it's he wasn't uh, mm -hmm. explored enough, and I think that he maybe you could kill him, but you need to have him be much more inter integral to the plot. Mm, yeah. Right. Yeah. And just like I don't know what you do with Poe and and Finn and all, but you'd have to do something with them. Po. But mainly, <laughs> my main thing is I'd want Ray to yeah. be bad. That'd mm, be kind of sick. That's pretty interesting, right there. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right. Do you want to go, Andrew? Or do you want me to go? I think you should uh, go. Which do you? I think you should go last because you have. Do you want the, me to go? I think you should oh, go okay, last because you have. You probably have a bunch of stuff. I have to thought say. about this. Oh a lot, man! Actually. All right, Andy's so been brewing over here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, I think I would start off, of course, with the whole training thing. Um, I think it would take at least a good quarter of the movie, but they would go back and forth between the whole crap with uh what's going on on the ship with Poe and uh, what's his face? Finn. I think they okay. should do that. They should go on a side mission because side missions are awesome. I love side missions. They should go to the casino, I think, but make it last a little <laughs> bit longer. Get rid of Rose. And mm -hmm. I think Poe and Finn should have gone. They could have had like some funny moments there to ease some of the tension that's going on with this training with Luke and uh, with uh, and yeah. Ray. I think the whole should have been something because it really wasn't. Um, yeah. I think they should have explained more of how and why Luke cut himself off from the Force, maybe. Just because it's kind of glossed over. Um, yeah, that's true. And I think, yeah. skipping ahead a little bit, um, that Kylo Ren should be the one who fires, but he doesn't know... like. He doesn't know that Leia's in the, the command thing. He's like, oh, she's probably in a different part of the ship. Or he senses her somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And he destroys it. And then he realizes, oh, damn, I made a mistake. And so he does have a heart-changing moment. And he's like, oh, he tries to save his mom. Uh, but she mm -hmm. is no longer with us, I think. That should have that should have killed her. Yeah. So she would be like, mm -hmm. he'd be like, oh, dang, I made a really bad mistake. So then he would have a change oh, of heart. Oh, great. And then I think moving ahead again to the whole thing whenever they go to Snoke to go fight him, I think what should have happened is, for me, what I would have done, is I would have had him do the whole lightsaber twist thing, but right before he does it, Snoke somehow realizes that he is about to die, so he like apparates out of there like in Harry Potter. He gets out of there, so then his knights have to take over, his little honor guard has to take over, and then Ray and uh, Kylo have that that f awesome fight scene that they do. Um, so then he's redeemed, yeah. but Snoke is still the main bad guy, and then they have to team up uh, and fight yeah. Snoke in the next episode. So he's, like, redeemed. So th um, yeah. then I think the whole last part of the movie would just not exist because <laughs> since he's redeemed, he doesn't come back. <laughs> Uh, I think Luke should have stuck around and trained both of them. Maybe like maybe that's like they they come back shoulder to shoulder, and, mm -hmm. and Luke's like, "Oh dang, why did I cut myself off from the Force? I could have seen this happening." And now he can train the both of them to fight this greater evil that is Snoke. And I think the Knights of Ren maybe would like make a cameo appearance, and they're, they're like at the end credits, and they're like, "Whoa, what just happened to Kylo Ren? He's a good guy now." And then they try and hunt down Kylo in the next episode, maybe. They should hmm. be like 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 okay. like s bad guy bounty hunters. I think that I think that's what I would have yeah. done. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty. Can I add something right, to my part? I apologize. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, go, go, ahead. For, go for go for go for. So like, I, I was thinking more about like why Ray would turn bad, and like, I I I can think it's understandable that Luke would want to cut himself off from the. 
force. Like I like he saw all this wacky stuff go down and like his whole mm. family is all force sensitive. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. he just wanted to get away from it. You know, yeah. I can, under I think mainly, I think a cool thing would be, we could still have the whole, um, uh, um, him coming himself off from the force. He was, he was like afraid of Kylo Ren's powers and he tried to kill Kylo Ren. And that's why Kylo Ren turned bad. Like that's, I'm okay with that, but maybe, Ray sees that and she's like, You're not like you're not like, like that it was awful. Like, how could you do that? And so like that maybe she has like this she turns against Luke and she why did you do that? And she gets pissed off at him. I don't know. Mm. Like like that's just a thought that came up came into my head. And she's like, he's like he's having a change of heart. He's like, Well, maybe the Jedi need to come back. And she's like, nah, no, nah, no, nah, the Jedi are gone. Like Ooh. I I think Ooh. what you did. Mm. And so okay. yeah. oh. sorry. That, I was just yeah. thinking that. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Anyways. Okay, so are mine? <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, boy. If, um, We're like, ready. I had an idea for how to restructure the entire trilogy, like starting Whoa. over with seven. But I'm not going to go there because that's going to take too long. <laughs> um, Maybe another episode. But this is, if, if seven, yeah, so if seven, if I'm given eight, and I don't, I don't have anything to do with seven, um, this is what happens. So... Similar type things. So it starts open with the the first order after getting getting losing their star their massive you know star uh, their death their death star thing, their star killer base are like oh crap we need to strike hard and we need to strike fast against this resistance because we underestimated them and now we're going to come out with force so you can have the opening be the same they show up but the rebel fleet the resistance fleet is absolutely unprepared for how quickly they get there and for how many troops they have with them and their base the, the dreadnought comes in and immediately starts to blasting ca uh, uh capital ships because the in my version the resistance would have more than just one capital ship because mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense to me that they're fighting the greatest threat in the galaxy and nobody and they only have one capital ship <laughs> but the dreadnought comes in Low. and immediately instead of destroying the base originally just starts wasting these capital ships. And that's when Poe comes in, doesn't go on his daring mission, gets uh, most of his crew killed on this daring mission. It's not like a stupid, like, oh, you risked too much. It was like a, yeah, it was a necessary risk because if we lose everything here, it's over. Mm. They destroy the dreadnought um, under blistering fire from all the cruisers and all of the, you know, everything. And um, all that's basically what happens is he. Um, he's basically one of the only pilots left. You could have that same A-wing pilot. I'm thinking what you do is you replace Rose's character with that A-wing pilot Thank that God. he was friends with at the beginning. And they're the only two like left to survive that because Kylo Ren comes out there and they just you know wreck them all. And the uh, he he um basically what happens is there's only like uh, so there's the one ship, the, the capital ship, and a few cruisers with them, and then. What happens is Poe and uh, uh, Finn's are, and Finn's have already been loaded up onto a different ship, and when they when the when so they get they get out of there the dreadnought they blow it up and they're like yes we did it we can get out of here, boom another one comes out of hyperspace and they're like oh no now what, so then they hit the, they hit the hyperspace and they just kind of scatter, and you have the the uh, main fleet go off in one direction and you have uh, um, Poe land. On the other ship, Poe and the new character, whatever her name was, I can't remember what her name was, um, land on the other character on the other transport with Finn, and they, <laughs> they go off in a different direction. And so the fleet splits off into two different, you know, two different things, and they get separated basically. So um, you can kind of have the same thing where the main fleet is getting chased around the outer rim, and it's like this is like deep space where there's like not much around. Uh, Snoke's ship comes out comes out of nowhere. But instead of, you know, being like, oh, yeah, well, we can track them through hyperspace or whatever. You're... And so and having the crisis of no hyperspace fuel, they use a gravity well. And what that does is that prevents hyperspace jumps. So mm -hmm. there's literally nothing they can do. There's there's running. Um, you can still keep, keep that. Um, so when Kylo Ren goes out to engage that ship, I like what you said. He ends up killing his uh, he ends up killing Leia. I think that works. And I think that's egged on by the fact that Snoke is at the beginning, like he did, you know, lighting him up for his failure to protect Star Killer, to get Ray on their side, all that stuff, saying stuff like "You're not worthy of the Skywalker bloodline," blah 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 blah. You know, 
and it, it completely ticks off Kylo Ren to the fact where it's like, well, fine, I'll go out and I'll prove myself. He goes out, fires the missile, blows it up. Leia goes out into space. But mm. as she's dying, the last thing she does before she dies is she re- reaches out to him through the Force, like she did with Luke in Episode Five, mm. and she basically says the equivalent of like, "I know I lost you, but I never stopped loving you." That kind of you know oh, what a mother would say cry. as she dead as she's dying to a son that's abandoned her. Yikes! And that completely and what you can do there is when that happens, it like you could you could even write it as like you see him kind of have a he gets hit with this flashback of like all the things he's done. And so you can start all the way back of him like turning on Luke and kind of kind of tell a little bit of the story through that. He turned on Luke um and I m- my version of it is that he got drawn to the dark side because when Luke and was doing training, he and his je- his uh Jedi, you know, followers they were collecting uh Jedi and Sith artifacts to study. And they found this Sith artifact that was like a holocron but you needed only you you, ha- you had to have so much dark side affinity to open it and Luke couldn't open it oh. and he didn't want to open it he wanted to keep it away Oof. but that's where um Kylo sees that and he's like whoa like that that's that speaks to me that has, you know something something's I need to see what's in that I have to know what's there you know because he's like it's promising him power and he's like I gotta get it I gotta get it and that's and he opens it and it it you know helps corrupt him and, and drive him to the to the point where he turns on Luke and all that stuff. And they have a showdown, whatever. Um, after that, you know, and this is this false stuff that you get very briefly in his flashback that he's having. And then through that, that's how he meets Snoke and so on. Um, he, as he's flying back, he realizes it all comes back to Snoke. And his, his mind, he's not taking responsibility for the fact that he killed both of his parents. And he, you know, turned on Luke and everything. It all comes back to Snoke, and he's like, "Snoke, Snoke's the reason. Ah, oh, I hate Snoke." And I get, uh, you know, and that's the snapping point where he stopped listening to Snoke. It's like Snoke must die. Mm-hmm. So then you snap over to, uh, you snap over to um, the island where Luke is. You know, start talking. They start talking and stuff, and he, he kind of starts explaining. I was gonna have it go one of two ways. Either he's on that island to try to figure out what Snoke is and try to fit, like to, to commune with the spirits and figure out what he should do about it. Or he went to that island to rekindle his connection to the Force because in his showdown, somehow that holocron that Kylo Ren had severed his ties to the Force completely and left him useless, mm. basically. And so after 30 years of having the Force as him and being able to use it, it's basically like losing his, his, both of his legs. He can't, he can't deal with it. And he can't help Kylo unless you know, he has that. So that's why he goes to that island to try to rekindle that and whatever. So when Ray shows up and, and has that scene, I kind of like that scene where she's like, I don't sense you. You're not connected to the Force. What's going on? He can kind of explain like, well, yeah, that's, this is why. And he feels like he, he can feel like he failed Kylo. I, I think that's okay. Um, but my version of Ray is a little bit different. It's based on Seven. But it, in this version of Ray. The, the fact that she's not from – she's nobody, and she doesn't come from anywhere important. And I think something that was really good that Kylo brought up was that she's looking for a father figure and all these people that they can't fulfill these expectations she has for them. And what, she, she goes into the cave and has the same revelation that she's nobody and she comes from nothing. Hmm. And it breaks her, basically. And she's like, I, don't, I need somewhere to belong, and you know, I have to be part of something. And Luke can't, you know, she doesn't feel, she doesn't feel the connection with him, you know, and she's like, I, I got to have something. And that's when, you know, you can have a connection between her and Kylo and he starts kind of pulling to her. And he's like, I don't, it's like, I know we're both in the same position. We're looking for something that we both need. Oh. You need some person to belong and I can show you where that is. And I need, you know, whatever he needs. And she, so she starts kind of being drawn a little bit more towards him and is like, you know, well, maybe, maybe he's got a point. He's not all evil. He's not the evil guy I fought in the last one. He's changed. He's different. He's, I can save him. And she starts, you know, building on that. Meanwhile, snap over to the other three. Finn wakes up, and he's with, uh, with uh, Poe, and he's with that female pilot. Now, they're in contact with Admiral Akbar, who has taken control of the ship now that Leia's dead. It's not Holdo, whatever her name is. It's Admiral Akbar. And they're like, yeah, we're in big trouble. Like, there's nothing, we're, there's nothing out here 
we kind of just jumped to random coordinates to get away, but they found us anyway. We didn't know there were this many of them. We're screwed. Like, we, 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 we got to do something. So Finn and the rest of them are like, okay, well, we got to do something. Let's go. And that's when they do their side quest and go to the, 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 the planet or whatever because, like, they talk, talk to Moz. And they're like, well, if we have to somehow get in and shut down that, gener- that uh, gravity well, right, we got to do something about it. You know, so they talk to her, and she's like, go to this planet. I know the guy who can help you. Go there. And so they go there, and instead of it being just some random dude with a uh, flower on his lapel, it's Lando. Ooh. It's, mm. it's, that, it's Lando. He's, he's there, and he's like, yeah, you know, I can, I can help you. I can get you what, what you need. And at first, he's like, I'm not interested. I'm done with fighting with this thing. I just want to live my life. And, you know, I got involved in the Empire and the Rebellion. And they're like, whoa, you're like a rebel hero. And he's like, I don't care. I don't want any of that. I just want to, you know, I own this facility now and blah, blah, blah. And I want to, but then after he realizes both Leia and Han are dead, he's like, oh, this is serious. We got to do something. So that's what snaps him into gear and he gets in there. Um, then cutting back to Ray and Luke and Luke's like, you, it, it's basically a mirror of episode five where she's like, I can go save him. And Luke's like, no, you can't, you can't, you're not ready. You can't do it. And she's like, well, you, you can't even feel him. You can't, you know, she's kind of starting to turn on him because She's getting both both sides of the of the conflict between him and Kylo because Kylo's like, no, he turned on me and he wouldn't let me, you know, he would kept me from things and blah blah blah. He was hiding secrets and Luke was like, I was doing that to protect him, blah blah blah. You can have that whole thing. And so she started kind of starting to side with Kylo a little bit. So then she runs off to go help him. End up with uh, Snoke in the scene, whatever. You know, you can have the same thing where it's like. You're not. I'm not going to play it like they did in the Return of the Jedi, where it's like, ha ha, watch your little friend's fleet get destroyed, and yeah, you know, <laughs> that was too much. That was way too much. But <laughs> what uh, what happens is, so he's like, who do you think was the one who brought you here? Who do you think was the one who set you both up on this like these these three random blind dates to figure each other out? It was me. I'm the guy. And then they're like, well, who the hell are you? And He's, uh, he, he says some things that kind of re- a little bit reveals, you know, kind of like, I don't, give a, I don't give a crap about the Jedi or the Sith. I'm not either of those things. I just want power, and I know the Force is where I can get it. Hmm. And they're like, okay, well, what's, what's up with this? And, you know, they have – and he, they, then uh, Kylo tries to turn on him, but, you know, he's not an idiot, so he sees it coming. And he's like, ha-ha, well, what you didn't know. And there were two things that I was thinking here. And it's going to be a dramatically different story in the next one, depending on what happens. First of all, they could kill him in the same way. I kind of like that in some ways. Hmm. Um, but I also realize that if you try to redeem Kylo Ren in the, next, in the next story, you don't have a villain. Hmm. Yeah. So, That's true. Yeah. so what you could do is kind of like, kind of like what you said. Uh, uh, I, think, I think Noah said this, that he's kind of just like, yeah, I saw this coming. I'm not a dumbass. I was never on the ship to begin with. I wouldn't come to the front lines of a battle because I'm not a fucking idiot. So he's like, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, ha, you thought you'd killed me, but instead it's another, it's either, you know, it's, it's like a, uh, an Android or something like that. And he's like, you know, and he kind of, he phases out of there. He's like, but instead, because I saw your betrayal and I knew you turned on me here, these, these, uh, guards that are with me, uh, they aren't just normal guards. These are the Knights of Red. These are your friends, Kylo. And they're here to kill you. Mm. And so he, they fight. They, you know, they fight him off. They team up. They fight him. And it's a really hard fight for uh, both of them. And they both get beat up and, na- and mashed up and all that stuff. But they finally, they finally prevail because Kylo is the best student and Ray's really good. And mm. uh, it's really, it's a really hard fight for Kylo because these are his friends. These are the people that he was training with and all that stuff. But at this point, he's like, I can't turn back. Like. Snoke's been poisoning you. He's been poisoning all of us. They kill them all, that kind of stuff. Hmm. Um, and so then you can have the same scene, which I thought was really, actually thought was really good, where he's like, he's talking to her, and she's like, you know who you're from, where you're from, don't you? And she's like, I'm, and she's all broken up, and she's like, I'm nobody, and I'm nothing, and I'm from nowhere. And he's like, yeah, that's true, but we can figure out what you are together, because I know someplace we can go to do that. And, you know... We can leave all of this behind. All of this needs to burn. The rebellion, the the first order, the Senate, the Jedi, the Sith, all of it. It's all pointless. You know, let's go our own path, basically. And she joins him, and they both they go off, and that's the last we see of them for the movie. Mm-hmm. So, 
cutting back to the final battle, the uh, rebels finally make it to a planet where they're trying to hold out because the first order has been picking them off this whole time. Um, I kind of liked the uh, light speed scene, but I wouldn't do it in light speed because that just doesn't make sense as far as like it opens up too many holes in the in, in the universe. So instead, uh, uh, instead, um, what's his name? Uh, the A Admiral Akbar. Instead, Admiral Akbar, um, he can He does. He just does a straight bombing run. Like he just does a straight ramming after everyone's evacuated, and rams it into Snoke's ship, and that like just disrupts everything. It's a you know everything explodes or whatever. Meanwhile, Finn and the rest and the rest of them have uh, gone through a few like D and D side quest type pitfalls where they're with Lando, <laughs> and Lando's like, I know where we can get help, but he, we need to do this thing to get do this thing, you know. They have their little – maybe they do a heist. I kind of like that idea. Mm -hmm. But they rally up enough support because they know Lando, and Lando has connections that they come in – You know, they'll come in at the last minute and defeat the First Order and stuff. Meanwhile, on board all that chaos mm -hmm. is um, – on board all that chaos is going on. Uh, Hux walks into the chamber, sees that Snoke isn't there, sees that, you know – Snoke isn't there, or actually, I probably would have, I would probably have him, I don't know, I can't decide whether or not, what story would be better if he's killed or not. In this scenario, let's just say he died. Let's just say he died, hmm. because then Hux declares himself supreme leader. Ooh. It's like, we're going to crush the rebellion. Yeah. We're going like to, and he's not a, he's not an idiot in this version either. He's the one that was responsible, comes in, wipes him out in the first scene. So he's like, he's not dumb, but he's like, we've got him now, send everything, we're going to destroy him. This is it. This is my, this is my swan song. This is it. Um, you can have the big battle on this planet. That's fine. It'd be more of a battle and less of a, we're just going to send 12 speeders out there against at ats and get our asses kicked and then have a door explode or something like that. There'd be more of a battle going on and be more chaotic and stuff. Um, and it looks like everything's going to end and it's going to be bad for, uh, you know, it's going to be bad for everybody. And then they, they link up with Chewy and they link up with, uh, the rest of them. And they bring their the, they bring their reinforcements that Lando has in common. They just they they Hux gets away, uh, but he gets away with he gets away with Phasma and a few of the others, and they they get out of there. And then uh, they're like, "Yay, we lost a lot of troops. We lost most of our troops, but we won the battle. That's great." Um. Then at the end, so like in that, you know, that's that's where the movie ends or whatever. At the end, you have this is the, would be the last scene of the movie is. And this is something I think you could introduce is you have Luke back on the island and instead of uh, like, and like there's a, an apparition of the emperor there and the emperor's mm. torturing him. And it kind of reveals that Luke never got over that night on the Death Star, that it's been haunting him ever since then. And it's been something that he struggled with. And that could have been, that could have played a part into why Kylo, why he distanced himself from Kylo, why something was going on, that kind of stuff, why mm. he didn't see Kylo was, you know, whatever. We could, we could play into that. But then yeah, that would be. He's, so, so he's sitting there like, this is like, this is all my fault. This is bad. I don't know what to do. And the Emperor's like tackling him and torturing him and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, and yes, I would, I would do full on Hayden Christensen Space Ghost basically walks out and is like, the galaxy needs the Luke that saved me. You know, you know hmm. that's what he needs right now. Hmm. And so he has this conversation with, uh, and I would cast Hayden Christensen again, have him reprise yeah. the role. The galaxy needs you. Yeah. And at the end of the at the end of the uh, that movie, you would have, uh, you know, he finally kind of looks looks at the uh, at the emperor and he says something like, "I'm a Jedi like my father before me, and I will is like an I will never turn to the dark side or whatever." Ooh. And nice. he walks over to the edge of the cliff where his X wing is. And like Yoda did, he lifts it out of the water. Oh, yeah. Ooh. You know, called, da, da. And, you know, you can have the twin suns in the background. And as he gets in, it flies off yeah. toward the twin suns. You can have the twin suns theme, you know, the da, 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 da. As, as, you know, the force theme, yeah. Comes. Yeah. 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 As he, as, he, as he leaves. And as he's leaving, you see Hayden, the ghost of Hayden Christensen, standing there watching him. <laughs> and be beside him appears Yoda, Obi Wan, Mace Windu. You know the rest of them. They just kind of whoosh, appear there, nice. and I'm like, "That's the end of that movie." Ooh. Then, what I would do? Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no. 
this is something I think would be really cool, is for, as, a, as a trailer for the next movie, you don't actually have a trailer. What you do is you have a scene where Kylo Ren and, uh, and uh, Rey land on this planet. And I, the, I imagine this planet is kind of like this barren, dark planet. Everything's like black, smooth marble. And she's all like, she comes out and she's like, oh, this is, feels really weird. I'm getting these really strong light side and dark side vibes. It's really freaking me out. I don't like this. And Kylo's like, yeah, it's, it's really a lot to, to, take, to take in, but you got to kind of just work your way through it. He walks down, opens up this cave, and like you know, and then like these lights come on, and down the middle of this cave, uh, there on one side, in blue, are like a wall to wall Jedi artifacts, and on the other side in red are Sith artifacts, Ooh. and and uh, she's like, so she kind of asks because she would have explained at some point like who is Snoke, like what the whole what the hell's going on with this thing, and. Uh, he would explain Snoke wasn't a Jedi or a Sith. He was a collector of Force Fit. He, his whole point was get power in any form that's necessary. Uh, so during the Galactic Civil War, he stayed on. He stayed uninvolved. He got rich off of you know some like he he discovered some some sort of element or something and got rich off of that, which is how he built his armor, his army, and took over a segment of the Empire after it crumbled worked his way in there um, and got all their tech. And it's for, for, for ages, he's been collecting Jedi and Sith artifacts. Um, and so she's like, well, what is this place? And he's like, and Kylo reaches down, picks up something and says, this is where we learn the truth. And, 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 and as, he, as he holds it up to the light, you see it's Obi-Wan's lightsaber from episode four. And then <sighs> cut to black. And, that's, that, and that would be... I, I would release that, that scene right there that I just described. That would be the trailer for the next one. And that would be it. That would be in the movie, too, for the next one? No. Oh, so no. it's just its own, oh, it's, its own oh, contained oh. thing. It's a standalone, yes, it's a standalone in between half, you know, kind of like an end credit scene. That's kind of cool. But because nice. Star so Wars it's... doesn't have end credits, that's how you do it. And yeah, you release so it on YouTube, gonna... and you don't do anything, any other, you don't do any other trailers for the No next other movie. marketing? No, I mean, you can do like you're gonna have to do like the posters and stuff. But Fire your marketing game. department. That's what I say. <laughs> oh my god, seems like. But that, you know, you 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 drop that, and that's the only video about it that comes out. That'd be pretty dope, hmm. actually, my dude. So that'd that's, be. Yeah. I mean, that's, so it's that's not gonna Halo Five right. us. It's not gonna Halo Five Guardians us. No. Where they had the the dece- deceptive scene, and then. They literally use the opening cutscene as a trailer at some point, so it's like, th- thanks, yeah. bud. I, I paid sixty bucks to see this again. Thanks. Right. Exactly. No. No, you wouldn't do that. Like it would be an in between. You know, this is how this is where they went, but we're not. Gonna, this is we're just going to carry on from that in the movie. Oh, dude. Uh, well, I hate to break it to you, but someone already did that with another property called Panda Man. <sighs> Not gonna, oh. say, I'm not gonna say. Not gonna say who directed that little in between, and it was literally a commercial. For your that magnum audio. opus is that your magnum opus, Nick? Ooh, that one commercial that I made, but never saved, so it's not anywhere. It doesn't exist. Only Panda Man. Yeah, there's no two. proof. Well, actually, wait, wait, wait. technically, which one? There was a film. It's, I think. It's... Yep. Good. There's technically a film I made for <laughs> Julie Brown. That I used some Ew. of the Man footage. Oh, dang. oh, that's from right. From the very first one. Oh, so my gosh. it technically could exist in the same universe. Dude, oh my gosh. I know the next video. We're going to talk about Panda Man. <laughs> Panda Man. Panda Man lore. Man lore. Oh, oh gosh. Well, they're so short, we could actually show it. And then, then I could we could talk about all the stuff we wanted to. Oh, like goodness. Like what, yeah. what the plans were uh, going to be. Ooh. Next time, though, I got to set it up right because uh, we're literally dropping yeah. hundreds of thousands of frames. So... It'll be choppy this first <laughs> one. Like it's 133,000 <laughs> frames, but out of two hours and 22 minutes, only it's only actually it's a lot. Oh <laughs> man! But still, um, Ugh, I feel like my explanation I, took up most of that. It's all good. <laughs> a good chunk. It's a good chunk. Oh, okay. okay. I'll, I'll I will say I, yeah. I really like the idea with uh, Hayden Christensen. I know that they had planned to put Hayden Christensen in the Last Jedi. Yeah. Which but, would have made yeah. sense, honestly. Speaking of Hayden Christensen, yeah. I actually see him like all the time. I, I work at a uh, undisclosed 
oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, fast food restaurant yeah, in, in of course, Hollywood. Of course. Oh, what, and so I, really? I, I, I actually see, I actually, he comes through. He's a really nice dude. He's like genuinely, That's genuinely awesome. like a super. Yeah. yeah, dude, why are you flexing? Well, it's okay. I saw okay. It's Star, well, Star Wars related. Well, no, I was just saying it's Star Wars related. <laughs> since I live in Atlanta and everyone's making movies here in Atlanta, um, not to flex, but when I worked at uh, Smello Flush Room up in Kennesaw, uh, Dave Bautista. So you can't say the name of the business, bro. Yeah, I said Smello Flush Room, my dog. It's different. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm up there working at the one in Kennesaw. Shout out to that place. But um, Dave Bautista comes in and we're all like, dude, is that Dave Bautista? And he's this big wow. muscular dude. And we're like, damn, that's him. <laughs> so yeah, he came in. And wow. then my parents went to a baseball game uh, for an undisclosed Atlanta team that is very brave. <laughs> That's very brave. Well, and they're in the they're in the Delta Skybox because uh, they were given tickets by one of their bosses. And sick. in this super awesome, nice Delta box, right in front of them is Dave Batista, and then in front of him is Finn Wolfhard. So it's like, hey, that little, that little kid what? from Stranger Things you like is here. And I'm like, what the heck? And then my sister did the hair for Stranger uh, Things season three. It's like in the credits, it's like Tony. Wow. And no way. Well, that's yeah. so sick. So where you told a, me about that. Yeah. It's so in the credits, if you see like a uh, hair by Tony and guy, my sister was in school whenever they had to go do this. So she did all the perms because they, they filmed Stranger Things in Atlanta. So she did wow, a lot of the man. hair. So everyone out here see all these famous people. And I've seen Dave Bautista. My parents have seen Dave Bautista and Finn Wolfhard, my sister's. The, the the hair for season Dude, three. You know who I saw the other week? Was that nobody famous? Forget oh. you guys. <laughs> you see, you saw Andy Dowling. That's a fame. Oh yeah, I live with Andy, yeah. so not to not to flex or anything, but I do live with Andy. That's not, so, last, yeah. that's not his last name, by the way. So no, we're not. Gonna I will say his flex. No, I will yeah. flex again no, for a second. Not. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Tell yeah. us. No. Flex I, on us. I saw. I I I saw Steve Carell. I gave. <laughs> What? Did you really? I sure did. I saw it was him and a Tesla. And a Tesla. Of course. Was it jailbroken? <laughs> it was. Yeah, he was vaping. He was vaping a Chromebook out the. <laughs> <laughs> blowing, blowing O's, my dog. Ripping mad you know, clouds, he homie. Was, he, he was in. A, he, I've seen a lot of high clouds. Hmm. Oh. Ripping mad high clouds. <laughs> this isn't the me flexing. Hang on, how many celebrities have I seen? That's a separate podcast. That's a separate podcast. Oh, gosh. Right, exactly. Well, it's, it's not. I'm not going to stop it and start it again. So it's the same wow. one. All right. Yeah, well, I all think right, that's all right. she wrote. That's it. Yeah. So if you awesome. are watching this one, which you probably won't because it's so choppy, you're not going to watch it. Um, <laughs> we expl- uh, I'll, I'll, do a, I'll do a recap or whatever. Maybe I'll do like a recap. What's up, guys? It's your boy. Well... What's See, up, this guys? is a test, I guess, still because uh, I don't know. I could. We already started recording before we started streaming before I could do anything. So I gotta change the bit rate and change. You know, I'm gonna do it to 720, minus the face cam. Only do voices. What are we poor? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Benny's, yeah, we're vaping yeah. Chromebooks, dude. We're and, hella poor. Andy's <laughs> Andy's super far away from his microphone. Benny's too close, and Noah on my end keeps cutting out. So I can only hear about twenty five percent of the words. So. Wait, really? I keep cutting out. Yeah, yeah. I'll, sh- I'll show you. Because yeah, I'll... I couldn't, I couldn't hear a lot of what you guys were saying either. Oh I dang! Think maybe my it's, internet... it's a difference of the. Well, I think I have... the internet is trash. Nah, maybe, no. and I'm dropping 136,000 frames. So, <laughs> That's, wait, it's 25 I... percent of frames are gone. So, do have you guys fun. really just have to like? We're like, guessing. We're guessing what you're saying. Kind... Well, I we get the I get the gist of what you're saying. Yeah, me too. But you guys can't hear well. Not everything. No, no, no. We can't. Like you just cut out just then. Ah, damn it. Yeah, but I That's... couldn't say anything. You'd be like, "Hey, bud. <laughs> hey, bud. Yeah. You're, you're cutting out, yeah. my guy." Because then we. Yeah, there's stuck. no way to. There's no way to fix. <gasps> no, that's not yeah. good. <sighs> what? It's not. Good. Maybe, Man, maybe you scared. only cut. Maybe it's maybe you only cut off mm. like when we hear it, but in the actual mix, you come. I don't know. No, it doesn't. I've seen the desktop audio slider. Go silent whenever Noah's cuts out. Ah, oh, damn! Oof. It sucks. Dang yeah. it! It wasn't doing that last time. I don't. It know. was actually. It was. I don't remember. I remember. I think it was. Dang. Yeah, you guys just cut out just. just yeah, a second just ago. like you, you guys. Just, keep... Oh my gosh, that sucks. Yeah, so I've had to do some guesswork on what like, oh, all you guys. Are. Maybe Skype will work better. <laughs> 
Well, Maybe no, actually. No, there's actually there's a there's a conference call thing that I used for vo- the voice school, I, the voice classes I took one time. <laughs> oh. I pay I paid three. Yeah, I don't know I, why. I paid three hundred dollars and used it one time. So I'm looking up all the. <laughs> Nice. But maybe doesn't doesn't Facebook have something similar? I don't messages? know. Messages? No. I don't know. Well, they have video call, but you only do it with one person. Maybe maybe we'll find a uh, better whatever. Yeah, we maybe may it's Discord. I don't know. Play around with. So, so next time for sure, I'm only gonna do voices. It's gonna be do stri- st- uh, screen capture though, so you're not gonna see my beautiful hey, face. Am, I'm gonna so like, this. am I still too loud right now? No, that's fine. Right there. No, you're okay. Fine. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Just don't get excited. Um, <laughs> don't get triggered, Benny. <laughs> oh gosh! If you guys had, if you guys had, well, if Benny had a laptop, I'd buy him something. I'd buy him a, a USB interface. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> you have to buy your own microphone. I have one laying around, honestly. Yeah. Well, I mean, I am gonna. I, I am planning on buying a laptop soon. Well, eventually, but... if, if this gets big enough, I would want to have its own space somewhere in like uh chartersville that's uh not the right name but it's in between atlanta and or hot atlanta and chattisluga so so it'd be in between and we could, uh, so we could have like a an area in between and we could just get noah on the conference oh, that's yeah great. now i hear oh, myself i'm hearing some feedback yeah that's yeah great. i don't know whose feedback i don't know <laughs> maybe <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, my microphone just f- died. My headphones died, so. Oh, uh, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, you were doing Bluetooth headphones? Oh, you were doing Bluetooth. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's probably why it sounded like I was a million miles away. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it sounded like you were like, on a now. telephone call. <laughs> All right. Well, now I'm just using my phone. I think that's going to do it for this one. Um, yeah, that's how she wrote. Did you record it? You recorded it. It's streaming right now, so I'm going to oh, export oh. it to oh. YouTube. Still streaming. Oh, how many viewers do we got? Uh, what's our numbers? Probably zero. Uh, probably zero. Oh, yeah. Honestly, zero. My favorite number. Well, usually there's it, one it, because I watch it every time to I make sure it. nothing's happening. But <laughs> I saw it was just spinning. Wait, so I was like, wait, 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 wait. Wait, what's the link? I'm going to watch it. Okay, I'll put we it. We can all tune in. Okay, let me let me pull it up. Oops, it up. damn it. There we go. Twitch. Twitch. Well, I took I'm about to go look at it with Andy's computer. Okay. Okay. Original Nick? Is that what it is? No, no, no. That's my other no, no, no. Twitch that's channel. My other Twitch channel. Original Nick 13 took a 7 is Original my first one. Let me... Here we go. I, I, got I got an up. Oh, send, copy oh, the link and put it up in the, the thing. The... You're going to see that it's all chopping. You're going to see gonna that it's all upset. chopping. Because all this hard work for nothing. Because all this hard work. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> oh, damn. It's tons cast. It's tons cast. Because the Original Nick show. But I might change it to lore But I might change it to lore. Because... It's not just me. It's not just me. It's not just me. Just me. Son of a bitch. Oh. oh my god. Oh, Star Wars Lord. This is it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Eleven views. No, nah, this is another this podcast. Is where, uh, oh, never mind. No, no, they were talking about Star no, Wars. Talking about Star hmm. Educational an- anime pop culture, culture pop news well, English. Well, <laughs> I mean it makes sense because I mean it makes sense. The All pop of culture for sure. Anime, sure. um, anime, they haven't made a Star Wars they anime, have they? Wars. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they, someone made a yeah, fan made one. one. All right, boys. Right, boy. Are you watching it? Is it is it choppy? it choppy? No, that's not choppy. No, oh, that's good. Fine. Oh, that's good. Okay, because on my end, it's it was choppy. So. No, it looks fine to me. That's good. That's good. No, it looks fine to me. Okay, sweet. So I guess it, I guess it's not all for loss. I must be really laggy because I said that like. A minute. Oh, that's. Oh, oh, you know what? Your audio. It's because you're, you're, you're watching it. Yeah. yeah. Your audio is. Stop watching it. Stop watching it. Because it's gonna keep echoing. Yeah, none of us. Yeah, we don't like watching it. <laughs> What's well, not that it's gonna keep echoing over and over again? Yeah. Infinite right. feedback. Hit mute. Hit what, mute. Are gonna, what are we gonna? What are we gonna talk about next? Next, I don't know. I, next time, we could talk about either Panda Man, or, or we could talk about something in the MCU, something MCU something lore. Let's not talk about Panda Man. Well, I love Panda. Why don't you want to talk about Panda Man? 
Panda Man's sick. Well, it has a lot, it of, has extended a lot of extended well, lore. Well, okay. It does, I, actually. I made it kind of does. Lore, does. So I sent it to Benny. And, I sent it to Benny. And, uh, Panda Man, Panda let's Man, be honest, Panda Man is the only, like, super, like, super right. who is capable so it's, it's confirmed. of... It's confirmed. Panda Man so is episode two. <laughs> Hope you enjoy that. Ben. Panda Man could have gone to Finn and, uh, and uh, the Panda Man. Snap Thanos out of existence. Well, now Noah's not, well, now Noah's not uh, skipping anymore. That's weird. Oh, oh no, there he went. <laughs> there, he <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. It jinxed it, dude. Oh, I did. Oh, I did. Dang. I, th I don't know if it's my audio or what. Or my, my internet or what. I don't know. It might be. That That's a sucky California internet. Well, I have AT&T internet well, here, AT here, here in hot land pants, so. Dude, it's I have AT&T too, and it sucks. It's, it's sucks. terrible. Well, I mean, I don't mean to flex on y'all, but we have the fastest yeah, internet in the nation here in Chattisluga. So, Everyone's All right, well, I guess we're going to do it for this episode, guys. I'm going to probably skip on putting this one on Spotify, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. All right. If it's not, if it's not Skippy, then it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead. Send us a link when you have it all edited. All right, I'm not going to edit this one. I'm just going to put it up. Put it raw. Put it raw. Oh, oh God. Raw. <laughs> okay, oh, so, whoa. Thick, dude. So, <laughs> <laughs> we need to maybe no, do like a sign off. So, we're going to do sign on next time, on. too. So. This is yeah, good. we didn't introduce ourselves. All right, so, so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to. I'll, 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 I'll be the host. My name is Benny, and I'm not important. All right, stop. stop. All right, okay. Here's what we're going to do. But you are imported. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god okay so here's what we're gonna do at the start of every episode we're gonna settle it now we're gonna say i'm gonna change the name to Lorecast whenever i can change the name because it's we're gonna talk about lore that's what's gonna be about maybe nerd news on like uh once a week but it's gonna be like hey welcome to Lorecast. my name is nick i'm your host or i'm gonna say the original nick show joining me is who died and gave you the host position uh, <laughs> i mean i'm the one who had the idea he is doing all the work. Hey, you guys want to start our own podcast? <laughs> Stop. Without no. Naked? no, no. The I'll unoriginal Nick show. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll I'll be like I'll be like, hey everyone. Oh, I mean, if you guys want to host a video, you can host it too. It's not it's not just me. No. But, so if oh, we should do it with my great internet. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be great. But what what we could do is be like, hey everyone. Today I'm hosting. It's like it's like oh hey I'm the original Nick show. I'm hosting it today. Joining me today is and I'd be go to Noah and he could. Either shout him out as Either Noah's, out as you know, his, Noah's, his uh, YouTube his name or YouTube. whatever. And then yeah. at the end, we can be like, this has been Lorecast. I was your host, Original Nick. Host. And then Noah can do his thing and Benny and Andy. And then you guys can shout out. You can be like your YouTube channel or Twitch or Twitter at the end. You'd be like, hey, I'm, this has been Original Shout out to my cash app. I need money. Yeah, so I would say, I would be like, I'd be like, hey, this has been Lorecast. Uh, I was your host, Original Nick Show. Follow me on YouTube, the Original Nick Show, Original Nick Game. Follow me on Twitter. You know, all all that jazz. So let's do the practice now. This is episode one. So Okay, so but after you, who goes first? Um, Nick goes first. because We can go in order. Well, just because I'm the host. And then, dang. I guess it does it. Let's go by order of who's on the Discord. So Discord. Benny, me, okay. then uh, Andy. And then, uh, sure, yeah. Okay. Sure. Whoever's hosting goes first, Whoever's and, then goes first and then we go by order of. Well, that's in that's in alphabetical order. So every time it'll be in alphabetical so order. So it's It'd be Nick, whoever's Andy, Andy, me, Andy, Noah. But unless someone else is hosting, then they would be like, hosting. like if Noah's hosting, right. it'd be Benny, Noah's me, hosting, then Andy. Benny. If Andy's hosting, then it's Andy's Benny, Noah, me. Make sense. Okay, so okay. so for right now, so for it's right now, Nick, it's me. Andy, me, Noah. Yeah, it's me, yeah. Benny, me, Noah, Benny. then Andy. Because that's go by we're going by username. Yeah, oh. oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes because then it's like good on the list. Uh, a is first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but if but it, but it's like going by but username, it's so like it's like username, okay, okay, okay. So. Okay, so this has been the first episode of Lorecast. Episode I have been your host, the Original Nick Show. Follow me on YouTube, the Original Nick Show. Original Nick Space Games. Um, my Twitter is I am Original Nick, and that's that's me. Joining me today was. Joining me today was. Okay, so now what do I say again? You say, I say I'll be like. Joining me today was, and then you say Benny. 
Betty. They'll just be like, uh, no, I'm just like, I'm just like yeah. I, I don't Saint know what Betty to say. And then shout out your Twitter or shout whatever. Uh, oh man, why is my Twitter? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Skip it this time. I'm making Skip it this time. You know, you know, somebody else go. Some, somebody else go. Somebody else go. I know it. No, no, no. no. Uh, I'm Noah. That's me. I don't want you following me because I don't need stalkers. I don't need more stalkers. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so many. Okay. And now Andy. <laughs> Goodbye. This is this was Andy. And I also don't exist outside of this podcast. So as soon Dang, as this thing's gosh. over, I'm just going to whoop. Dang. That's it. I have make a, maybe I'll start an official Twitter just for the podcast. Just for- so then oh can... no, because then we'll have to actually interact with people. Well, and... well, okay, well, since I'm doing all the work here, I'll be in charge of it. <laughs> I could be your social media manager if I'm Man. studying <laughs> Well, then it'd be like, we could have fan interactions by the one fan. I can put it on my resume. I'll be like, yeah, oh, yeah. I was actually the social media manager. Ran a failed podcast. podcast. Hey, it's not failing hey, yet. It's not failing Just yet. <laughs> we can't even, I can guarantee that nobody, if if someone even listened to it all the way through, wouldn't be able to understand what was being said. Hey, that's gonna true. Because we deep deep couldn't nerd. even understand what was being said. Well, hey, my mom well, hey, watches my every mom episode that I upload episode onto my YouTube, YouTube channel. So, hey, one that's what big she, says. she has to do that. No, she doesn't. That, doesn't she have to do that? That's in her no. job description. Not subscribe to me. They yeah. just watch it. Oh, well, oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, so so yeah. she's going to kind of support you, but also and not. And one of my managers likes to watch it to make fun of me, so he's not going to watch all the way through. Ooh. Oh, that's sick. He'll have a lot of uh, he, content. Of material. He hates nerd stuff. <laughs> Oh, no, dude, that's no. good. You no, should well, dox well, him. You should just say his address. No, no, no. Well, 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 I'm gonna I'm make. Joking. Well, he likes. I'm he likes the MCU. Us. He's watched every most of the MCU movies. So, so we can, if we talk about that, maybe he'll listen. So there you I'm go. gonna make a podcast that makes fun of this podcast. Every <laughs> yes. Episode. Oh my god. Ironically, if you do, that'd be kind of funny. It'd be everyone but me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just like, oh man, this is. <laughs> Well, it could be like whoever's well, not like hosting that day gets to be in the the the, the riff raff, the, the raffing, the riff raff, the, the riffing, riffing. riffing. Shut up, it's riffing. So whoever's not hosting that that episode can riff on the episode. <laughs> be like, oh, he put so much time into it. And now look what a loser. <laughs> And then, right. of course, we're going to have to have another podcast that makes fun of that podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the guy who was hosting the original one comes on, and then the guy who hosted the, the riffing one can be in it. We're gonna, it's like, listen, I'm not we'll salty. Set up our own, we'll set up our own podcast universe that's, like, extended in a million different All right, don't test, don't test me. I had a big old set of uh, web series that we're going to interlock at one point. So, I mean, I'll write it down, my dude. Don't give me the ideas. Ooh. Oof. Yeah. Well, yeah. I actually wouldn't yeah. mind having wouldn't you, mind you, having you guys could do the secondary you podcast, podcast where you make fun of this one, and it would be fine. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. <laughs> right. And it could be, it could be extended more. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Lord. About this whole thing that we're doing. Yeah. So is yeah. is this just going to be like the general format where it's just like, hey, here's a topic, and we're just going to talk whatever? Or is it going to well, be like – well, well, here's a topic. Like, for example, if the next episode was, I don't know, for example, Star Trek, yeah. are we gonna be like, yeah. well, these are this is the specific things we want to talk about. Like, what about the lore? Well, yeah, of that was the that was the show. that was the plan. That was the plan. But right. uh, the, plan uh, is, the plan is. So we're gonna lay down the groundwork so again. Maybe I'll have to edit it out towards at the beginning. But, um, it's um, where. It's where someone would suggest. Someone would suggest in the Discord. In I have a Discord, uh, I have text set up where it says episode topics. Where, episode topics. Okay. And you would type in there. Type in there. And then, and then we would look at it and we, we would, would decide, yes, would this decide, is a good topic. Yes, and we would all do topic. research on it. Research on it. And then okay. we could have a deep, then we could deep have a discussion, discussion on it. So that right, was the yeah. plan. So that was the plan. It's probably good we started with Star Wars then because yeah, we all know about Star Wars. We all know about Star Wars. Yeah, we're semi-knowledgeable yeah. And there's, and there's yeah. still too much to talk about. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually so, an authority on Star Wars. I got my minor in actually, uh, Star Wars. Yeah, I studied, I studied Star Wars in college. I think you can. I don't like any colleges. Star Wars, so that makes me more, uh, more, more, my, my opinion more valid than you. Oh my god. My favorite Star Wars character is Captain Picard. <laughs> my favorite Star Wars character is a sweet potato. Oh, dude, yes. Oh my gosh. Sweet potato with a pink lightsaber. Mm. Nice. 
You mean a sweet potato that like mind mind probed everybody in Rogue One? Is oh that my what you're gosh, about? dude! My, he was you the, mean the one yam who fifth lord? he was Darth Plagueis the one. Yeah, damn Plagueis sweet potato. <laughs> so, so that's so, how it should so go. Everyone should who go. listens to the whole thing. Maybe we Jeez. should like 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 make a, a, make a tentative a, a tentative like outline of what we're gonna talk about. I guess. Yeah. Yes. That's what the episode is about. So that's in a yeah. section. Yeah. You type it down. We should probably also come up. Also Let's uh, uh, Google <laughs> Docs. <laughs> we technically could, though, because Google Docs is actually really helpful. Yeah, it's the internet one, right? It's the internet one. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, it's right, crazy. Well, kidding. Let's, Let's send each other snail mail through the poll <laughs> service. Yeah, I think we should. Um, I got a bunch of stamps. I got, I got to get rid of them. I got carrier pigeons. F you. I got air your pigeons. Nerd, I use we'll smoke signals. We'll do one podcast, <laughs> we'll do one podcast episode every six months. <laughs> I got we should all learn Morse code. I'm actually going to write some... Uh, write some uh, oh, what's the alien thing? Like when they, when they put the... like. You know, yeah. like the fields, like the, fields the fields of corn, fields they burn corn, like a something into it. Oh, like the, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, circles. yeah, yeah. Crop, crop yeah. circles. Yeah, there we go. We're, we're yeah. actually yeah. going to do crop Let circles. Let me guess. You're an Area 51 stormer. We can all see it from hey, the... Hey, I know Ruto and around those bullets, my dude. Wow, the, the delay, the audio delay is really messing me up. Yeah. Oh, well. It's too bad. That's God's worth telling us to get out of here and go to sleep. Exactly. Oh, yeah, you guys need to go to sleep. That gun 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's almost uh, 1 a.m. Well, okay, so... Well, almost late. Okay, so, that's, okay, so that's the plan, is we're going to talk about an, a specific about topic a specific within the topic lore within of the lore shows, of movies, shows, video games. Um, maybe episodes without no, we can talk about anime, because no one doesn't watch anime. Ooh. Nope, not, not for me. The nerd. The only ones I, I he would talk, like... I can talk like, briefly about some specific I can talk about... I can talk, <laughs> I was going to be well-versed. So the only say, we can talk about high school about... DXD, lol. All right, okay. I, I, can talk, I can talk for hours about that. <laughs> I was gonna say, can't, we can't talk about anime, but I can talk about hentai. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, those anime and the streets, hentai and the sheets. Am I right? Am I right? I'm only watching it for the plot. I'm only watching it for the show, man. Only for the show, like to research, man. I got a minor in uh, Asian minor studies in uh, with the focus on Japanese, so I mean I'm so, well versed in the hentai scene. Have you taken any hentai classes yet? <laughs> dude, I freaking wish, my dude. Oh my god, I'm gonna start an ahigami <laughs> class. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna be the club president of. I'm gonna start. Oh dude, I'm gonna start a hentai club at Kennesaw uh, State University where I'm going. Yeah, you should also uh, go out a neck beard and wear a fedora. You absolutely should. And buy a waifu body pillow. Waifu, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Commit a, a dragon, oh, dude, dragon. Like one Burst of those cowgirls, you know, cow girls, like a half. Commit to your major or your minor, I should say. I have a double major in Japanese. Double major in Japanese. Oh my god, who's there? <laughs> Alright, well, I actually gotta go, guys. Yeah, right. say, we got yeah, yeah I'm gonna go. end the stream here in about uh, five, seconds, so. five seconds. So next time we'll be well right. prepared. No, we won't. Yeah, no, we won't. No, what don't are you talking about? Yourself. We better be. We better be. No. <laughs> Maybe that should Why? be. What? What are you gonna do, Nick? What are you gonna do if we're all like, yeah, we did our research, and you're the only one who did it because you're a nerd? What are you gonna <laughs> do? Maybe that should be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna feel like a loser then. Be like. Well, so do you guys want to break the floor with this? And then it's like, it's, it's no, no, shut up, Nick. No, did you hear no about the door? I'm okay, hyped right. up on right. Monster Energy Drink. All right, catch us another, right, catch day, us from another, another day from now. Give us maybe a maybe the name of the the name of the podcast should be Well Researched. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> second podcast. Second podcast. Second podcast. Second podcast. All right. All right so well, I gotta head out. See you. Bye, everyone. See you some other day.